Okay, I think it's all recording now. Welcome back, everybody. We're starting up Blaze Black, and it looks like everything is okay now. The game seems to be working. I wanted to go back up over here first because I wanted to beat some more trainers before we go into Drayden's gym. Last time I was mostly focused on catching stuff. Anyways, chat, hope you're all comfy. Hope you're all cozy. You can all obviously see now that we have the commissioned VTuber. It got finished a little faster than I was expecting. There's no end to mastering Pokemon battles. And I just felt like using it today, so I'm going to use it. I used the gift one last week, and people had a lot of fun with that. Lots of people liked it. Lots of people were giving me fan art. It was very fun. I don't know if I'll use it for every episode of this series, but I'm certainly having the fun doing it right now. I kind of wanted to start a Pokemon playthrough next week to specifically use this one with. But right now, I have a shiny new toy, and I'm using it. Okay, we're getting hit by Stone Edge. You like it, everyone? Look at it. I used it during yesterday's stream. It's fun. Hydrate already. We just started after like 10 minutes of technical difficulties. Actually, that's not true. We uh, were leveling in the wild grass for a tiny bit while I was setting things up. Let's do it again. Yeah, you're right. I should fix my posture. I do feel pretty good, though. I got to do another gym day before doing Blaze Black. My legs feel like jelly. But that's good. Uh-oh. Wow, well, this is gonna kill me. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was thinking about recharged yellow. I felt like something cozy like that would be fun. All I did was get Houndoom the 65 while I was just waiting for the stream to start. Waiting for the notifications to go out. Okay. I know he ice punched me, but I'm gonna finish him off. Just wanna get that sweet EXP. Last time we made the big push for 300, and that was a lot of fun. 325 is around the halfway point of the deck, so let's see if we can at least get there today. I imagine having a gym leader today is gonna slow things down, but we'll see. I'm gonna send out you. Go, go, go. The only issue I notice right now... Oh, we're doing the Dragon Gym, Vampy. The only issue I notice right now is that all my hotkeys conflict with uh, the DS. So I might have to pull up the program manually if I want to switch my PNG tuber state. I'm trying to be prepared for Drayden, don't worry. I mean, the last guy wasn't that bad. <laughs> Infernape? Ooh. Quite a team you got here. Send up my Lotic. My Lotic. Chat, do you say my Lotic or my Lotic? I hear my Lotic a lot, but especially now that I've confirmed that uh, my Lotic is named after, like, you know, Venus de, Venus de Milo statue, I'd say it's my Lotic. For sure. Ouch. Bro Pack and Thunder Punch and Fernie. Like he's freaking Flint and BDSP. I hope this kills. Break it. Yeah, there we go. You say low tick as well? Good. Good. Perfect. I immediately have to go back to the Pokemon Center, though. Anyways, though, I really appreciate everyone being so positive about the anime in the corner. It fits very nicely down there, too, doesn't it? But, um... <laughs> I was kind of, like, really surprised. It went better than I expected. Let's go here. Like, I mentioned getting fan art. I've been getting, like, a lot of that, especially on Twitter. Kind of, like, caught me off guard. It also is because I posted that clip of me getting Pokerus while I was showing off my design. That actually did get, like, um, hundreds of likes when I posted that. Like, I thought... Bear Redeem? Oh, hang on. You want me to use the state with the bear? I can do that. Hang on. Yeah, look at that. Ignore the interface, because I can't hotkey with this game open. I hope to see you again. We have another state here where I hold the teddy. I don't have every state set up with this yet. Um. Also, thank you, Kerfuzzle, for gifting us up there. I appreciate that. I have, like, um, a bunch of states commissioned for this, but I only have, like, a small fraction of them set up to even use on stream, because I have to resize them and put them all in the program properly. It's not that difficult, and thank you again, Luminant Gamer. Everybody's been so nice with subs lately. 
Wait till we do do sub goals next freaking uh next month. Okay, let's fight you now. I'm the best around here. Can you possibly be a match for me? Let's do it. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to have it cover most of the gameplay. Now, even when I did a full screen game, I tried to like change the format a bit, so I didn't do that. Okay, here comes Reuniclus. I guess try attack is good enough here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. I didn't update the BRB screen, did I? I think Fernie said that they they made a mistake on Teddy Ursus Paul's. I didn't even notice. I need to update that, yeah. Hang on a second. We're gonna go ahead and switch you. Um, you know what? You're probably gonna use an electric move again, so let's just send in Haxorus. Yes. Emerald Kaizo? Nah. I, you're joking, I know that. I've been talking about sub goals for a bit because, um, I wanted to, like, uh, do a bunch of stuff, fancy stuff next month. I've been having a lot of fun streaming the past couple months, and I want to do a lot more. Let's do this. Well, he paralyzed me. That was pretty lame. Hang on, do I at least get rivalry off this? No. Well, goodbye, Reuniclus. Oh, wait. No, he missed Focus Blast. Sick. Yeah, we have a couple of sub-goal ideas. One of them was 100%ing Banjo-Kazooie. Um... Oh, no, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Right, Digimon World. Digimon World. How did I forget that? I'll send in Houndoom for this one. I've been looking for an excuse to replay Digimon World 1 for a while. 100% prosperity, by the way, so we get all Digimon to the city. I wanna... So I'm just gonna make it PNG Tuber Edition. Why the heck not? The aspect ratio of older games still leaves me lots of space on the side. Let's do it. Oh, you know what I could do? I could make, like, a big counter uh, to put above my head for that game. Because there's not going to be, like, a, a second DS screen to put there. Do it. Alright, this is fine. We can't one-shot enemies. Everyone is holding a lucky egg, though, so we're fine. We're fine. Also, I was talking about this a lot during Pikmin yesterday, but um, I wanted to get get more people's thoughts on it uh, in, in this in this game here. Hang on. First, let me switch. Send him Boopy. I wanted to kind of like play through every Paper Mario game this year. Like, um, cause the thing is, I have a hack of the first Paper Mario that adds like some extra mechanics in a pit of pit of a hundred trials. So I think that'd be cool for a full replay. There's also, obviously, the remake of Thousand Year Door. And I have Super Paper Mario for the Wii. I also have Color Splash on Wii U and Origami King, which I haven't played. I haven't played Color Splash either, but I thought maybe it'd be fun to look at those at the end, because why not? I don't really care about Sticker Star, to be honest. I, I tried to play that game a few times, I just get bored of it. There we go. 65. Excellent. Escalivir. 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 Whatever you want to call it. Send in the hound. You see that, Teddy? Teddy sees this. I love how the bear blinks with me. Escavalier. Yes. Let's do it. See, the thing is, I wanted to use the PNG tuber for all of them, and because the thing about Thousand Year Door Remake, right? Maybe people would be mad if I used the PNG there, but the thing is, I don't expect that to be, like, a, a big, like, stream for me, because most people don't watch me when I play brand new games. They prefer to play them for themselves. It's only, like, the big popular people that, like, you know, can do the big streams of new games. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not complaining about it. But it's just something that's very obvious to me, having having uh, tried in the past. Hang on. And I also already played Thousand Year Door, the normal ver normal game, just a few months ago. I just really want to play the remake anyway, so I may as well just stream it with the PNG. That's what I'm, that's all I'm trying to say. Let's do it. There's also more mods for Paper Mario One. Paper Mar there's Paper Mario Hard Mode, which you can probably 
guess what that's about, given the name. Um... He's gonna solar beam me. Hmm. You know what? I may as well just use another Scald, to be honest. Let's do it. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting killed. I hope I get the burn or something. Nine Tails will probably outspeed whatever I switch into anyway, so... Let's just do it. Let him finish me off. Send in Houndoom or something. Is Paper Mario hard mode basically a Kaizo? Could be cool. See, Paper Mario 64 is one of my favorite video games ever. What's the term? I'd say, like, you know, a comfort game. I love the music in it so much. As a kid, I never owned it for the N64. Um, I would always just, like, rent it a ton of times from the video stores. But, um, eventually they put it on Wii Virtual Console, and that's where I got to, like, play through it again as when I was, like, a teenager. Hmm. Last time I played it, I did a stream of it, but it was kind of a broken version on my old PC, so it would, like, randomly glitch and freeze, and it was kind of a mess, but people had fun with it anyway. Oh, man. That was such a good time. Alright, let's go back and heal. I'm beating the trainers first because I still have to talk to Iris for more cutscene before I can go to the gym. And I think we'd rather just, like, not start by doing that immediately. Heck yeah. I've been listening to some of the soundtrack for Paper Mario while writing videos. I've been listening to, like, Shooting Star Summit, stuff like that. That's such a good track. Such a good track. We can't get Poker Us again. I've already prompted the message. Tee hee. You can see Iris up over there just waiting. Just waiting. But not right now, Iris. First, we're gonna go up over here. Yeah, let's get that item, why don't we? Hey, look, my Pokemon are great. I don't remember if I beat everyone past that cliff grass patch yet. Perfect. Come on, everyone, follow me, and then I leave the city forever. Exactly. Togekiss versus Togekiss. Mine's stronger, though. Let's do it. Paper Mario really is one of those games that I can just, like... I, I could just beat it over and over and still have a great time. Thousand Year Door is still great, too, but th I feel like Thousand Year Door has a few parts that are just annoying to replay in the beginning. Namely, like, the tree in Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is just, like, run back and forth for a little bit. And it's not very colorful. It's got its own charm, though, for sure. Gavantula. Um, he's gonna electrocute me, so let's just send in Houndoom again. And boop it with fire. By the way, when I was training it in the, in the grass, Houndoom did learn Inferno. Perfect. Excellent. Not to mention, I think Thousand Year Door has a few chapters that are only- that are really good, but, like, they're only really good the first time you play them. Like, if you're replaying Thousand Year Door constantly, I can't imagine the Glitz Pit in the train will, like, be as fun as the first time. Um, hang on a second. I can Thunder Punch with Ursa. You see that, Teddy? Look, that's your big brother. That, that's your big brother going to fight. Teddy's amazed. Look at it. <laughs> Thunder punch him. Oh, he's bouncing. He's gonna run 100% roll to paralysis. Won't he? Won't he? Let him fall down. Oh, he missed. That almost never happens when they use it. I'm well aware that Inferno has 50 accuracy. There we go. Did I say it didn't? 67. Hammer arm. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Hammer arm actually gets the buff from, um, from that. Kind of need fighting coverage, so... I think I could get rid of Slash for now. I mean, Slash is stab, but hammer arm is... 
100 plus the sheer force. I don't know. What do you what do you guys think? I think maybe I can also get rid of Bulldoze. Bulldoze I can always relearn by TM anyway. I feel like I never use it. Hmm. Wait, Hammer Arm doesn't get the sheer force? Oh. Oh my goodness, you're right. We've been over this like 12 times in this series and I never remember. My bad. Nope, wrong thing. It lowers the my speed. Yeah, I thought it lowered the opponent's speed for a second. Teddy, ignore that. I had a small brain moment. Well, that fighting move would have been good here, but so it is what it is. Let's fight. Hit him with that slash. Nasty plot. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Think of it like a cost more than an effect. True, true. Okay, only that much, huh? Okay, oh, he's trying to nasty plot Hyper Beam me. Oh! Teddy, look away! No! Bear was attacked. How dare he? Right in front of the little bear. Might as well let Boopy finish it off. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of XP off these trainers, though, I gotta say. This has been a good place to train as we prepare for the gym. My team's got mostly good coverage. Bear injured. I repeat, Bear has been injured. Ice cream. It's even got a little silly straw on its forehead. That one has no brain. Rip it apart. Burn! Kill the bear killers. Ah! <laughs> oh. Now do I gotta go back and heal? Well, I got a full restore. That's something. There's gonna be trainers in the gym, of course, but... You you've all seen how every gym fight has gone so far. Like, this place does not mess around. This game does not mess around. No fly in my party. That's what Pelipper's for. Yeah! Restore my Pokemon's joy. Let me get a drink. Restore to me full health. There's still definitely going to be a few up there to fight. Let me see how far I can go. We can immediately head to Victory Road when we're done with Drayden, but... Better to get these guys out of the way before the gym fight, obviously. Okay, here you go. I've seen a lot of trainers. You seem to have the same aura I felt from strong trainers. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to do a bit more Pokemon next week. This has been, like, the only main Pokemon thing I do right now. I have... I've also been playing Pokemon Stadium. But the thing about Pokemon Stadium is that I can only take a little bit of it, of it at a time. Because it's soul-crushing. Both Stadium 1 and Stadium 2, I'm at round 2, so the game got even harder. Oh, nice. Lucky miss. Pretty sick. Okay. And I've loved this series a lot, but this is like, what, part 12? Okay. I knew going into this, of course, that this was going to be a longer Pokemon playthrough compared to some of the others. That's okay. Slowly working on the Pokedex while training a full team is, like, really cozy. I like it a lot. Yeah. Dex playthroughs are some of your favorite streams. Well, I'm glad. I hope the anime in the corner makes it better. Bolt Tackle. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? That is a Pikachu exclusive move, you little cheater. They gave Luxray Volt Tackle. Well, to be fair, he does need some physical electric move, so I can't complain. Um, this is a problem. He's gonna kill me. 
Mm, is he gonna Volt Tackle again? They're yours too, Jose? Well, that's nice. Thank you. Oof. No problem. Do I outspeed you? I do, do outspeed you. It's honestly pretty good for the, yeah, Luxray and Zeb Stryka. Because they don't really get access to good physical electric moves. Luxray is kind of infamous for that in Gen, in Gen 4, right? Hmm. I'll just let Houndoom toast it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, we're, we're still only doing a short stream today. I did a long stream yesterday because I really wanted to finish Pikmin so I could start Mother 3 next week. But um, a bunch of stuff also kind of came up last night. I need time to like take care of it afterward. Oh, sturdy. Oh, toxic. Cool. Well then, we'll finish it off. It's fine. Finish it off. It's fine. I'm going to do a couple longer days next week for sure, but I just want to make sure I have time to finish stuff off. These shorter days have given me so much more time to take care of some extra things. I've been getting more script work done, and also just getting, like, thumbnails and stuff done ahead. Okay. Ah, uh, let Poopy do it. Only downside is, um, at the start of the week, I actually got horribly sick one night, so... I, be I didn't get, like, anything done, because I just, like, was felt like garbage for a little bit. Okay. Blade it. You see this, Teddy? This is what happens to hippos that get in the way. Remember, no mercy. Ooh. The best stab Luxray got in Gen 4 was Thunderfang. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You can't really use Shinx in too many early playthroughs except Sinnoh, right? I don't know if they really put that in other ones, did they? Hmm. You know what, Houndoom, get your ass in there again. You can in Scarlet and Violet. I mean, to be fair, in Scarlet and Violet, you can use, like, anything early on. If you know where to go. Nope, still don't have Leaf Storm for Boopy. Perfect. Excellent. That's a lot. Exactly, your aura is exactly what I felt. I love his cool coat. You see, on the subject of Pokemon stuff though, even though I've kind of played a little less of it in these recent weeks, like only this game really, um, I noticed something that's actually been really nice. You guys remember the Pokemon Dusk playthrough series? Dusk, Dawn, and Nightfall? All of a sudden, YouTube has been, like, really promoting that, and I've noticed, like, a lot of comments on it. So I checked it, and the first, the first of that one we did in October, Pokemon Dusk Remastered, it's got, it's nearly at, like, 100k views, which is huge for a stream VOD channel for, like, a five-hour upload. That's really nice. Hang on, yeah, we'll we'll go through this when we have all the badges. I told you, when I don't shut up about other games, uh, they'll do well. People actually go check them out. Hey, they're working together. Hmm. I haven't caught Braviary. It would be easier to catch it now than raising Rufflet later. Alright, let's get rid of Mandibuzz, then. Let's try this. Perfect. Uh, on the subject of other Pokemon, other electric Pokemon that got it bad, you know what really made me upset? Raikou. You ever try to use Raikou in a, in a real playthrough? Like, you ever catch one in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Gold, Silver, Crystal in the middle of your game? That thing gets, like, it, it gets, like, spark for, like, ever. 
You have to get it to, like, really high level just to get, like, Thunderbolt or something. Okay. Oh, right, I got rid of False Swipe. That's fine. That's the case. Braviary. There we go. You know what really grinds my gears? Link. Yeah, it is a, it is a gear Pokemon, all right. A little bit for you guys. He's made himself really weak. Hmm, this shouldn't kill him, I hope. Let's try this. Come on. Don't die. Oh boy, I was worried for a moment. Let's get him. Let's do it, Teddies. Get Ultra Balled. You see this, Teddy? He's coming with us. Three. Yeah. Yeah, Teddies win. 301. It only took like 20 minutes. 301, 301. Nice. We're mostly training. Beat multiple high level trainers here. They fight for their friends. Oh, hey, they're like Ike! Without any thought about danger to themselves. One can carry a car while flying. Oh. Didn't realize they were that powerful. The ultimate American Eagle. I think we could probably poke our head in the gym now. I think past that long grass path, there are a couple more trainers to fight still, though. But we've been on in and out of that route for a little bit now. We even got a little extra dex entry, because I popped in there. Braviary carrying a pickup truck is the most American Pokemon it'll get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Storage Pokemon to full health. Okay, Teddy. Time to learn about things. Just a little farther. I hope she doesn't mind that I had waited a few weeks to come here. This is it. Oh, right. I forgot they had the cool future doors. And no furniture. I'll explain. What you are holding is the Lightstone. Reshiram, who will likely awaken from the Lightstone, and Zekrom, who is already awake, were once the same Pokémon. That single dragon Pokémon, along with twin heroes, brought a new region into being. And people in Pokémon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which of them was right. A single dragon-type Pokémon that had been with them all that time split its body into two. One sided with the older brother, and the other with the younger brother. In its purest of ide- sorry, in its pursuit of ideals, the Black Dragon Pokémon sought to usher in a new and better world. Its name was Zekrom. And the other, the White Dragon Pokémon, sought truth to usher in a new world, a world of good. Its name was Reshiram. Because the two of them are once the same entity, their battle raged endlessly, and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed there was no one side that was right, and ceased the conflict. But the two heroes' sons started the battle again, and an instant later, Zekrom and Reshiram destroyed Unova with lightning and fire. Then they disappeared. But if people work for, with Pokémon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Zekrom and Reshiram worked hard for everyone and made a new region. So it would be all right, I think. True, Pokemon cannot speak. People may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, Pokemon and people believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah. So I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. Sorry, we got a little off topic at the end. 
That is everything we know. Unfortunately, we don't know how to wake the legendary Pokemon. I made a promise to Alder. You must win the gym badge from the Opelousa gym. I'll be waiting for your challenge at the gym. All right. Okay. Cutscene done. Did I heal up when I came back here? Yes, I did. Everyone still got lucky eggs? Good. Can't use Awakenings on it. You just know that some point in the future, they're going to make a Legends game, and it, we're finally going to see what all three Pokemon together look like. It's going to happen at some point. It's gotta. There we go. The Dragon Gym in Opelucid City is where the tough trainers show they can carve out their own path. Well, let's find out how, how tough you are, buddy. Let's do it. I don't really want to take Pokemon to, with the experience share right now, because I feel like I need all the strength I can get for for the final gym and training for endgame. So I feel like experience share mons are going to have to slow down for a bit. Let's do it. Thank you, Tina, there. I appreciate the sub. I am having a good day. I'm playing Pokemon. I am holding the teddy bear. Uh-oh. And then Gyarados had to ruin it with Dragon Dance. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, no. Get ancient powered, scrub. Oh. That's good. Dragon Air, send it out. Chat, when I announce that I'm taking a drink now, I, I I feel like I ruined the illusion because my model can't, like, hold a drink to sip. I'm not animated enough for that. The, the magic's over. I'm not really anime. I'm not even really holding a Teddy Ursa. Can you believe that? I mean, I can hold a plushie IRL. That's cool. Need a sippy animation. <laughs> no. All right. Streamer needs to drink immersion ruined deception. It's true. This is all just a this is all just one big rift so I can like uh, play Paper Mario. Oh, send it out. Togekiss almost never gets to sweep. Dragonite looks a little sleepy. Maybe it's his eyes that look weird. Oh, that didn't do enough. You will not sub during goals if it does not go towards the sippy animation. No! I'm gonna go for the tri-attack. Maybe get a... Oh, I got a crit? Oh, no, that just did more. Okay. I'll take it. Aerodactyl? Why not? Why not? We're gonna have to leave, but it's fine. Togekiss doesn't need Fairy-type to prevail over dragons, yeah. This dude had, like... A more loaded team than, like... Wait a second. Wait a second. Or you can carve out your own path. Chat, his Pokemon team... Did you did you just notice? It was Gyarados, Dragonite, two Dragonair, and Aerodactyl. He, had, he has Lance's Gen 1 team. Whoa. Wild stuff right there. Secret reference discovered. At least, I don't remember if he changes his team in yellow at all. Thank you for waiting. Restored your Pokemon to full health. Alright, let's keep going with this. Hmm. The Dragonite yeet itself? No, not like those Pikmin. Not like those Pikmin indeed. Video game glitches are fun, aren't they? Okay, let's go up this way. If Lance only had dragons, he'd have nothing but Dragonites, and he almost did in Gen 2. They gave him three. 
I will tell a trainer who beats me how to move forward in this gym. Are you gonna have Claire's Pokemon? Is she gonna have a Kingdra? Oh? No. Lance changes move sets in yellow, but not Pokemon. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't know how good Zwilus is. Or wait, that's not how you pronounce it, right? Zavi you say the W like a like a V sound, right? But is that how the Pokemon pronunciation works? I mean it should, because it's using it's using Zavai, right? German word for two, because it has two heads. And here comes Ampharos. We can send in Teddy for this. Teddy, look, it's your big brother. Big brother's going in to fight. Bulldoze. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the Elite Four actually did change in Gen 1 for Yellow. The most famous example that I've, like, said a million times in my videos is how Lorelai can't do her soft lock anymore. She's the only trainer that has, um, specific AI to make sure she doesn't do that, which is so funny. Okay, there we go. That's a lot of points, Teddy Bear. Only one Pokemon caught, but that's because we're focusing on the gym first. If I could get to 325, which is the half halfway point of the total, that would probably be good enough for the day. Okay. Ball on the switch. And now we go over here. How, do you understand how the dragon's head moves? Ooh. Jose? Well then, I guess we're gonna have to attack Jose. If only I had fairy type. And sadly, it did not exist yet. Let's go for it. Oh wait, I have no health left. I just sent Togekiss out to die. Or I could one-shot it. I guess I'm stronger than I thought. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that good. Nice. Damn stats. Gyarados. I know what to do about you. Broden let his fracture evolve. Maybe he didn't want it to. Look at the big teddy tail on Ursa Ring. Isn't it so dang cute? Uh-oh. You're Gyarados. This doesn't work. Perfect. Big chunk of change. Charizard. Um, let Milotic do it. Milotic. I haven't really used Milotic much yet. Really, I should probably put her up front for a bit so she can Ice Beam some of the generic dragons. Scalding hot water, chat. Yes! Ooh, that's a lot. Plus four special? I'll take it. You're strong. I guess you want to know about the dragon's heads pretty badly. Not really. I know how this works. Oh no, you know what I just realized? Going through this several times is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh no. Because I'm going to have to free fight Drayden over and over, aren't I? Oh, I didn't, I didn't change the lead mod. Oops. Are you happy just hanging out with Pokemon? Or do they have to be strong? We'll see which type you are. Do you think I hang out with Teddy because it's strong? I hang out with Teddy because it's cute. Clara? Is that Clara? Is she gonna put some cheats on my game? She probably is. Oh, you're probably gonna Ice Beam. I can't switch in Boopy. 
Uh-oh, chat, I'm in trouble. Mirror coat. Oh, uh, even better. <laughs> Can't mirror coat this boy. What? It's still trying to mirror coat. Well then. At this point in the game, everyone is higher level than, like, the end of the game in the normal Pokemon Black. They're pretty tough cookies. Kangaskhan. Um. Hmm. I'll let Haxorus do it, I guess. Clara needs cheats because she's bad. She is. All right, two Dragon Claws on to do it. I'm gonna drink. Streamer is still hydrating, don't worry. Just don't mind the fact that I, uh, I don't have a sippy animation yet. What? I was gonna do that, you copycat. All right then, buddy. All right, buddy. Oh yeah, this thing's coming out to die, and I'm hitting 67. I got rid of False Swipe for the time being. I feel like I should have Outrage until we're done with, like, the Elite Four and Champion stuff. And then I can go back to False Swipe so we can catch things around. Don't forget, there's a whole other, like, side of Unova that opens up in post-game. Nice. Your Pokémon seem to be happy just hanging out with you. That's right. Chat, do you think this bear is unhappy? Do you think this Teddy would be unhappy in my arms being a part of my stream? He would just leave and go get snacks whenever he wants, don't worry. Just heal him up. You don't know? You don't know? How could you not know? Hello, friend. Welcome to stream. Thank you. I think I'm going to try my low tick up front, and then I'm never going to see a dragon type again. I wonder how many dragons Drayden is actually going to have. He's probably going to have something to hard punish ice types at the start. Don't know if he's got a weather strap. We'll find out when we get to that. Okay. That goes there. Can't go to that yet. So we're going to hop over this way. Thanks for coming. I happily welcome you. But I may be a little rough on you. I ate a lot of Teddy Ursus and Mother One. I didn't eat the Teddy Ursus. I ate Teddy Ursa cookies. I just couldn't fit the word cookie because it was an NES game. Oh, nice. Nice this. I don't know what day for sure yet, but Mother Three will happen next week. Um, I don't think I want to use the PNG tuber for it, though, because I didn't use it for Mother 1 and 2. Here we go. Excellent. Excellent. I'm excited because I, I really enjoyed Earthbound, and I want to finally play Mother 3 for the first time. The only, I literally only know one thing about it, and that it has Lucas, because of Smash Brothers. Garchomp, I hope I outspeed him. Hit him with ice. Oh, he's going underground. Of course he is. Don't have Earthquake. I don't think Bulldoze hits underground opponents, right? Either way, obviously we're going Togekiss because I'll be flying. So it's a 100% blind playthrough. Oh, yes. Of course. Probably going to have to be careful about people backseating and trying to spoil stuff. But it'll be fun. All right, here we go. It's locked in Outrage now. I'm just gonna go for it. He took me down the green, so... Okay, here we go. People have straight up told me that if you play Mother 3, do not feel bad about just like 
you like uh, go into emote only mode if chat gets bad about it. Oh, nice. There we go. Last it with that. Yay. 68 for you. Flygon. Now that I can ice again, assuming he doesn't kill me. Yeah, people were getting a little bit pushy and spoilery with the end of Mother 2, for sure. Excellent. We'll be careful about that, for sure. No bad teddies in chat, or they get booped. Or better yet, I'll let go of the bear in my arms and he'll come maul ya. You wouldn't want that to happen. You go. I don't even mean just, like, story stuff, either. Like, there's been par- there was parts during Earthbound where I'm getting ready to go to a dungeon, and someone in chat will just, like, start dumping a whole text, uh, paragraph about every item I need to bring with me along the way, and I'm like, dude, don't do that. <laughs> You're just, like... Is, should, is it not obvious that that also counts as, like, backseating and spoiler? There we go. Okay, we made it over here. Hey, I see you're getting to the puzzle. Here's how to solve it before you reach it. Mm, don't do that. I better heal up again. Let's go into the bag. Hyper Potion. Heal up the kiss. Everyone's getting reasonably close to level uh, 70 here. Drayden is going to obliterate us. I say we get to him, we do a YOLO attempt. Because I'll be down a bunch of PP anyway. I will test how well you really know your Pokemon. Trainer Tom. Send it out. Send it out. No, no, no. You don't need to tell me what, what's on his team. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna YOLO go for it and see what he does. Steelix isn't a dragon type, but it can learn Dragon Breath. 69. Nice. It's a lot right there. Altaria. Dang, I actually can do it. Would you rather be hit with the ban hammer or stabbed with the ban sword? Well, that depends on how much damage either of them do. Like, you know... If you get hit with the ban hammer, is it just a little bonk? Or is it like a Mortal Kombat fatality where it takes like half your face off and leaves your jawbone on the floor? Because if it's the latter... I'm gonna say a very strong... No. Scald it. Spoiler, he has dragon type you do that? I could only play this game for the first time once. Oh man. You ruined my whole day. My whole day is ruined, chat. I'm gonna scald this Tyranitar now. I think one of my one of my favorite spoiler messages is when you're playing a game and someone in chat it will show up and be like, has he reached X boss yet? And X and they say the name of the boss, basically just spoiling it, spoiling it. And it's like, gee man, thanks. Thanks. I didn't know that. Now I do. <laughs> Why do people do that? <laughs> Alright, let's hop down. Did he get to the part where that guy betrays you? Did he get to the part where you find out this guy's the murderer? <laughs> oh, can't go that way. All right, so now I gotta loop around this way, I think. Hang on, what's my health looking like? Okay, we're pretty good. Um, hang on a second. My low tick's at 70 now. Let's put Boopy up front. Okay, you're, that's you again. Did I take a wrong turn when I was busy, like, getting distracted? Or do I need to do this? Yeah, I think I just had to run around that one twice, didn't I? 
That's all it was. Perfect. Did I get to the part where I find out uh, Darth Vader is N's father? Oh, come on. Why would you do that? I wonder what you will do as a trainer. Now I can't... Oh, great. What's even the point of playing anymore? What's even the point? Here comes Dread again. I'm just gonna go for the Dragon Pulse and hope I can get some XP from it. Thank you, Batman, for 25 months of bears. Appreciate that. Again, so many nice people giving subs today. I appreciate it. I wonder if when we do the sub goals... Oh, damn it. We can finally get over the 500 sub points, because that will unlock another emote slot. I have a lot of animated slots free, though, so I'm thinking of getting some emotes of my model to use them alongside the teddies. Well, you know what? I'm gonna stay in and switch, because I want Poopy to get XP. Let me see. Hmm. Hmm, you know what? Ursa can do it. Go, Ursa. The gym leader will have Pokemon? Oh, come on. Chat, you're on thin ice today. Thin freaking ice. I got hurt. Let's hurt him back. Superior's dragon, uh, dragon grass in this game. I nearly choked on my, <laughs> choked on my drink saying that. I had a tiny bit left in my mouth there. What was I doing? I'm gonna stay in. Ugh. Don't choke. Don't tell me what to do. No, I, what part of that? No backseating. Did you not understand? I was very clear about that. If I want to choke on my stream, well, that's my decision. Let's do it. 69. You see that, Teddy? Your big brother reached level 69. And my speed is still under 100. Oh, you fight very well. Stretch, I'm backseating. Oh no, you're right. Hang on. A little stretch is good for the muscles. Oh, legs are jelly. Legs are jelly. Who's my lowest level? Boopy, actually. Can fix my posture. Resist the jokes. Do the dragon heads reset every single time you go through this? Oh, it's gonna suck. Okay, so I'm gonna do a YOLO attempt, and I'm gonna keep my lucky eggs on, right? Hang on. And then I'm gonna train for the real attempt against Drayden with proper items on each member. We have 10 years experience battling. I give you a taste of a veteran skill. Fix the way my back is seated. Legs are jelly, knees weak, mom's spaghetti. Let's go. Hey, I've seen this one. Let's see if it goes differently. The 3D puzzles are annoying if you gotta go through them many times. Oh yeah. For sure. I don't... Okay, I lived. We're gonna see how strong we can do it. We can see how strong we can do it. I have quite a few plans for next week, don't I? Mother 3 was the big one, because I wanted to start that before we do the sub goals, because I've been already promised it. It'll probably spill into the start of sub goals too, but that's okay. Um, I also wanted to do Mario Party stuff. Like, one of the things I've been promising, if you haven't been heard me talk about it in other streams, I have a little state for my VTuber where I hold a little, like, announcer microphone, and I wanted to do stuff like CPU Mugen tournaments and Mario Party tournaments while, while we just watch the CPUs play. Just something a little different that I can use it for. And I thought, like, Mario Party would be a really fun thing to do, especially, like... Because I can just kind of do it as a one-off whenever, right? It doesn't need to be, like, a long-running series. Um... You know what? I'll stay in. 
Should be finished moving in a few days, then Demo, Demo and you can sit down and prep Stardew. Oh, nice. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that, too. Farm games would be wholesome. Cool. I have so much stuff I want to do next week. I don't know if I'm going to have time for it all. Um. Okay. Nice. I was thinking, since I wanted to start another Pokemon, I might take... I, I don't know if I'll try and squeeze in an episode of this next week. Let's see. See if I can. See if I can. I'm also gonna be, like, one stream away from finishing Zelda Spirit Tracks. God, there's so much next week, after all. Oh, it might be a little difficult to fit everything. Oh, well. I'm sure it'll just- it'll be fun. That's what's most important. I get too caught up on fitting in everything. When forgetting most of you are just gonna, like... Some of you might even be watching this, like, months from now on YouTube and be like, I, I don't care, it's fine, dude. And you're right. No rush to do everything, but I want to have fun. The only thing I think I should do for the Mario Party is I should- We should probably, like, keep track of which characters win and have, like, a total amount of points. And then we can have, like, a championship playoff between them all. Alright, chat. Let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. Can also do that for intimidate right away. Let's do it like this. I like getting to play so many games. It's fun. I'm often told that playing too many games is bad for the algorithm, but I just don't care about that stuff. <laughs> it's too much. It's too boring to just play one kind of game over and over. Plus, if I cared, I wouldn't put an uwu anime character in the corner. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm Opelucid City's gym leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I've given everything to developing the city. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. Strength. But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has. Well then, let's see how many attempts this takes. Welcome everybody, how you doing? I got a teddy. Rotation? Oh, that's bro. No, 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 no. Well then. That was not in my expected list. Okay then. I lowered Dredigan's health. Or sorry, uh, I intimidated him. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, I thought he'd go Charizard. It might be completely... I think rotation battles are completely random what they choose. Substitute. Okay. Um. I'm just going for the Dark Pulse flinch, to be honest. Can I turn around this battle? No. Oh, wait. You're making a pun about the rotation. Quiver Dance Flygon. Is that a thing he could really do? Or is that a mod thing? Wait, does Snarl go through Substitute, or is that a different thing? You might be thinking of a different move. I don't recall it being able to do that. I don't think I can get a flinch chance through this. He fire-punched Houndoom. I think I'll be okay, everybody. Okay. Quiver Dance used to be Volcarona exclusive. Damn it! He got a crit with that. A crit after being boosted, too. Okay. Try attack is pretty safe to spam against these guys, I feel. Got five left. You have to root for Charizard? No, you don't. Root for Streamer. Snarl does hit who su through Substitute, but it's only Gen 6 onwards. Oh, okay. Well, it wouldn't have made a difference here, then. 
Okay, here comes Kingdra. If I could just hit something with a status effect before I go down, that would be huge. Root for Cleffas. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to get that Banhammer. It might be the Mortal Kombat version if you're not careful. Well. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was a whole, that was a whole roller coaster of emotion that was. <laughs> Froze it. If thought out, it's Draco Meteored. It missed. Uh oh. Dredigan is not a fast Pokemon, right? I don't think it is. Masquerain also gets. Uh, Masquerain and Dustox also get Quiver Dance in this mod. That's cool. I don't, can't imagine anyone wanting to use Dustox the whole way through, but hey. Set up. Well, Salamence. YOLO. YOLO, everybody. You see this, Teddy? It's YOLO time. I'm actually doing good. Tell me it stays. Oh! <laughs> Two in a row, chat. Two in a row. Okay, two are down. Haxorus and Ursaring are there. Hmm. At this point, I could probably spam Ice Beam against any of them, right? I'd say so. Ice Beam and Ice Punch. Who has better special def uh, physical defense? Hang on. I'm 34. Okay, they're both not great for this, apparently. Don't know if they'll switch around anyway. Just Ice Beam, I say. Oh, I outsped. Okay, good. Them getting Quiver Dance isn't a mod thing. Oh. But I thought it was exclusive in this. Okay, here we go. Kingdra's only fast in rain. Oh, yeah! It is a Swift Swim user. Um, no, please don't burn me. Oh. Chad, I might win first try. I'm jinxing it when I say that. There's only two left. Uh, two very scary Pokemon left, but... Uh, prop if I attract, I'll just go to Salamence. I better just spam Ice Beam. Do it. Okay, Citrus Berry. Uh-oh. Well, it was nice knowing all of you. Chat, when I'm gone, please take care of Teddy. Oh! Damn it. This is a problem. Haxorus is... How fast is Haxorus normally? Mine's like 175. Boopy could outspeed it. No, it's Dragon Dance buff. What am I saying? I need to send an Ursa Ring up front. An Ice Punch. Of course, it's... I'm not gonna live an outrage. It's Dragon Dance boosted for sure. Okay. Come on, live, damn you. Live, Teddy. A critical hit. That's cool. That's real cool. And it's not confused yet, is it? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, time to take one for the team, Boopy. Oh, I didn't spend my money. Oops. I don't think it halves your money in this game if you lose, right? I think it just takes a certain amount. That confusion's gonna have to carry. Ah, screw it. Just go for it. How do you like critical hits? Come on, come on, come on. 
Yeah! Come on, come on. You're confused? I'm not. Come on. No! Oh! That's... That's unfortunate. Dude. Confusion strikes again. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. That's the problem. <laughs> Thanks for gifting us up there, Yo-Yo. Yay. Dude, I had that. Oh. Well, we know it's a rotation battle now. I think I had the right idea. Um, starting with Houndoom to just kind of soften him up, and then saving my super effective mons to pick off the remaining mons it was working fine. Um... <sighs> the issue was Ursaring probably could have taken an Outrage, but he got a critical hit against Ursaring, so he one-shotted him. Ursa even the I feel like Ursaring should have lived um, a boosted Outrage, but the crit was what mattered the most there. So let's just get a few more levels across everybody, and we should be fine. I feel like I should make a save, just in case. Yay. A lot of hours on this one, yeah. Hmm. Pressing the button there. Alright, let's go see if we can fight some more trainers, maybe catch a couple things. We can definitely do it. Like... I was more than prepped for that fight. I just had bad luck at the end. Alright, you two again. This is annoying here. Maybe I should put someone that can kill these things easily. Raiden's team is manageable until he gets one frickin' boost, yeah. Put Ursa up front so it can, like, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch something there. Let's go. Do I have both of these? Yes, I do. I've been keeping track of the counter. We only caught one thing because I was focused on the gym. I'm beginning to think we might not get, uh... We might not get to 325 today, after all. It's gym day, for sure. All those will hit me, too, so... Yeah. Hydration? Don't mind if I do. Are you cozy, chat? I'm having a good time. Knowing I'm, I'm only do going half as long today is very helpful. You know, I, I call these short streams, but, like, a lot of streamers will stream for, like, three to four hours normally... And I'll be like, oh no, here's my short day, <laughs> where it's half as long. What's wrong with me? Just snarl and finish him off, I guess. Hit him. Hydration. I didn't do that yet. I came back from the gym to go to the gym. Yes, I did. The grass isn't really worth it. Guess I fought him. You made it this far, well done. Oh, he gives a TM? I thought he was a trainer. Okay. It's powerful, but it makes the user faint instantly. And I got Roar now, too. I don't think explosions help in anything. Hmm. Music is very nice, isn't it? Hang on, let me check the solo grass. Maybe that'd be better for me right now. It looks like... Okay, just the baby boops here. It is okay, though. So we already fought the strongest available trainers. I thought there was a few more left, but I already beat them. Okay. No problem. No problem. We can do it. The teddies will become victorious. I mean, it's not like I'm going to get through the entirety of Victory Road today. I feel like that's going to have a lot of fights for us to go through. Let's do it. 
You got bad news today, but you're here for a cozy stream? Well, I hope we can take your mind off it, friend. Sometimes you gotta get cozy and relax for a bit. Hit that a little there. Hmm. Come on. Come on. It's only this thing. Cooking the skull, baby. At least one level would be good. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any locations I could, like, fly to to maybe go Pokemon hunting. Just to also grab some extra stuff there. Because we can't just... It'd be annoying if I just run all the way back in there and get bodied. Should at least get a little bit a little, little bit extra stuff. But choke. I already got you done. It's only Machoke, it's no problem. Come on. Pardon me, I was a little bit stuffy, just kind of awkwardly trying to deal with that. I feel like I have everything here, and I can't get down to that water. Hmm. Let's go. Can't go over this way yet. There's nothing to the south. Was there more Pokemon I could find in the grass to the left side? I could poke my head in there for a moment. Yeah, heal me up. Heal me up. If not, kill things that are in the way. Get that XP. Unfortunately, Amoongus isn't a common Pokemon. It'd be good if it is, because then I could just get easy flamethrower kills. Yeah, back here again. I looked in here a little bit, but I don't know about other stuff. Right, this is where the Cincinos were. Mincino and Cincino. Only level 46. I don't think I've really she seen Shaken Grass lately. Damn, that's nothing. If I go like this... Come on. Ah, there's one. Can I use a Max Repel and get to it safely, I wonder? Let me, let me try that. Max Repel, please, where are you? Because we could use some Audino or whatever's here. Oh. Oh. That's... That's not what I was expecting. All right, then. Entei, everybody! Entei! Let's catch it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to be here. Is it gonna flee? Damn. So, is this a 1% encounter in the Shaking Grass only? Hmm. If I hit it... No, wait. I can't burn it. It's fire type, and I don't want that anyway. Uh, I can damage it a little bit. Maybe do this to lower its power. And then send out... It's a 1% legendary here. Okay. Did I crit it? You get the crit now?! Really? 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 Oh, that sucks. Let's... Let's make the grass shake again. How about another one, please? Well, I'll take that too. That was... Why did I have to crit it? Oh. <laughs> Alright. No, it's not a roamer. It's just a 1% encounter there. It's gonna be a big pain in the ass to find another one of those. Yes, it is. 
At least we know we can hunt for that right now. They have absurdly low catch rate, so... I mean, we got repels. We may as well do this. If we get Audinos instead, that's experience. What do you think? We can run back and forth like this to make the grass bait. Fortunately, this isn't black and white, too, so we don't get the prompt to do it again. Heard it. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Interesting that they're there. Hang on, is it only Entei on this route, or are Suicune and Raikou also 1%? That's going to get annoying as I catch more of them. What route is this again? It's to the left of Opelucid. I know that. It's nine. Yeah, we can get experience doing this and possibly a legendary. I hear it. Come on. Oh, hey! There's Reuniclus. If you live a Dark Pulse... Oh, you know what? I'll try a Quick Ball on you for the hell of it. Raikou and Entei are 1% here. Damn, that's cool. See, Pokedex playthroughs and mods like this are fun because stuff like that can happen and it's just like, huh? People like the Cresselia clip. Maybe I should post this clip to Twitter, too. Seriously, I, I talked about it recently, but... Oh, okay, I killed it. Mm -hmm. There we go. I talked about it recently, but posting clips to Twitter has been something I'm trying to do more of, and... Come on. Let me see. And that has been going okay, surprisingly. It's also a good way to show off my model to people. So, again, surprising amount of messages I've gotten about that, just seeing that lots of people really like the design, which I'm, I'm happy about. I was a little worried, because we re did a lot of revising for it. I was worried, like, oh, am I, am I too picky? Does it look all right? Oh. No, it's not. I thought there was something shaking. It was just my own. What do you think, chat? Can I get an Entei? Or a Raikou? I can always go buy more Max Repels. Jellicent is 5%, is it? Alright, there's you. So, it's 5% Jellicent, 1% uh, Raikou, 1% Entei. Is everything else just Audino? Wouldn't shock me if that's the case. I think the design looks nice. I'm satisfied with it. A lot of people tell me it reminds them of a Vocaloid. <laughs> or it looks like I could be a Vocaloid. It's nice. Probably because of the headphones. Okay, let's do this. Hmm? Come on. Listening for the shake. Audino is 90%. Okay. Back and forth. Don't need to use a repel till I hear it. The shaking grass isn't time-based. It, like... It's based on, like, how many steps you move around. It rolls for the chance, I think. Can't hear it. What's also nice about this route... I just realized there's no grass anywhere else, so it's not like the shaking can be off-screen and I'm unaware of it. Hmm. I don't hear it. Just unlucky? I'm gonna reset. No, I'm pretty sure Raikou and Entei are 1%. No idea where Suicune is. Oh. Okay, let's use another one. Mix it up for a bit. Keep the playthrough from getting too repetitive. If we get Audino, it's good. 
Hit, wait, could Raikou and Entei no roar at this level? Oh, that would be disgusting. That would be disgusting. At least it's not like Fire Red Leaf Green where they get glitched away forever if that happens. Hmm. Everyone's holding Lucky Eggs. That's why it says boosted, by the way. Yay. Alright, let's go like this. Oh, by the way, since we're talking about, like, rare things in Pokemon, um... I, I actually found out the other day that I pulled, like, the most expensive card in the new Pokemon set. I didn't even realize I did for a little bit. Um, it's like the new one, right? Paldean Fates? It's, it's one of those, um, sets where they have a bunch of cards of shiny Pokemon. But they also have, like, these, like, uh, illustration cards. And one of them's for a shiny Charizard. The shiny, uh, the shiny Dark Terra type Charizard, right? I pulled that card, and then I... Looked it up online, like, a week later, and I think, like, at its height, it's, like, it was, like, well over 200. Then that's US dollars, too. Alright, Audino again. It's funny, because for the last shiny set, I also got the shiny Gigantamax Charizard card, which was the other expensive one. So I have the most expensive cards in the shiny sets, but they're nowhere near complete. Perfect. After you. No, thank you. The art for it goes really, really hard, too. It's cool. Excellent. I need to, like, complete some of my Pokemon sets. I've been really lazy with that. I hear it. Hang on. Let me do this now. Yeah, get in there. Let's see if we find another one. It's gonna... We're gonna have to look for Entei and Raikou eventually. I don't know if there's a repeatable way to get Master Balls in this game. It's kind of a miracle we caught the Cresselia when we did. Yeah, I guess Raikou and Entei aren't roamers. These one, If you find a Pokemon here like that, it just happens to be passing by. That's the explanation. Okay, Houndoom got a level here, which is good. This is good because I need Houndoom to be the opener for against Drayden. Maybe see if we can get another one then. Oh! Nice. Quick one right there. I really haven't, like, searched a lot of, um, shaking grass in this game yet. I told you, though, I had the expectation of doing a Pokedex playthrough for this, right? I know that there's going to be plenty of Pokemon that will take an entire episode on them alone. I could see Raikou and Entei being that. At very least, we can come back here with an EXP Mon, EXP Share Mon, and just kind of take out the Audino to get things going. But if I can get some of these out of the way before, while I'm training for the gyms, then hey, it's another way to do it. Honestly, the Elite Four might be a huge gauntlet we might have to run around and do some stuff for. Let's do it. Let's see. Back and forth. Don't hear anything. Mm-hmm. I wonder if the grass near the entrance of the cave is slow enough that it's just out of my earshot. might, if it shakes. Come on. Trying to go back and forth, see if it activates. Trying to stop and listen for it. Repels effect wore off, that's okay. We're at the point in the game where I can buy a bunch of quick balls and ultra balls and max repels anyway, so that's good. RNG is not on my side. I'm going to reset. I thought off-screen grass could shake and you just couldn't hear it. Well, let's just go back and forth for a bit. Pokemon is fun and cozy chat. 
Do you like Pokemon? You better. I mean, if you don't like Pokemon, I'm not sure why you're here. Maybe the anime character got you to get in here. In which case, damn, it's working. Amazing. Wait, what am I doing? I don't need to use the rappel. I'm outside of the grass. Oopsie. Nothing there. We have back-to-back -back shaking and then nothing happens here. Dang. We're not going to make a ton of dex progress today, sadly. Yeah. This usually happens when I get to a gym. Like, the gyms are so tough, I have to focus on training the main team. So I can't afford to just, like, level up stuff for the decks while we do this. Dude, nothing's, like, happening now. Oh, okay, there's one. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright, Audino again. We can't expect the 1 in 100s to just show up again, but I suppose it's, since I need both, we can look at it as a 2 in 100. Either way, this is fine. Oh, it's gonna bury. Hi, Mina, thank you for the raid. You missed me getting jump-scared by an Entei. It's hitting me with the simple beam again. Ugh. Raid! Classic Entei. I found out that the Shaking Grass here has a 1% chance of having Raikou or Entei. Because I was looking for Audino, and the literal first thing I found was Entei. And then I got a critical hit on it, so I could catch it. Yeah. Yeah. No critical hit on the gym, though. I hear it. Yep. go. That's alright. Go make your food. Have a good day. Here comes Audino again. We are making progress. We can say that. I saw the Jellicent once. Just once. Oh? After you, but it failed. Did I say Jellicent again? Damn it, I did. I keep mixing up the name of Jellicent and Reuniclus. Because they're both jelly-like. Can you blame me? Well, it doesn't matter too much. Let's keep looking. Squishy friends. Am I jelly? I'm not jelly of the jelly. You jelly am I jelly. Yes. Back and forth, everybody. Propel's already done, huh? I've been doing... I've been mixing up Pokemon names since the dawn of time. Everyone does. Thought I heard one, but it was just me again. Come on! Just be nice and let me have this, would ya? I've been good this year, Santa. I think maybe I'll get Houndoom to level 70, and then maybe I'll just go attempt to beat him again. I feel like if I just get good RNG, I'll be fine. And we can put real items on the team members this time, too. I didn't know I said I'd level up other people, but then I got distracted by the Entei, and I'm like, ooh, I want that. Nothing. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. It truly is. Because there's no grass over here. Come on. Nothing. 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 Can you believe this, Teddy? I come in here looking for Pokemon, and what do I find? Nothing. Let's reset the room. I don't know if this makes any difference, but hey. You never know. Shaking grass is weird, but only Gen 5 has it, yeah? 
I mean, Aura has had that weird thing where, um, a Pokemon can kind of stick out of the grass. I kind of wanted them to do more with that, but I guess they kind of can't now that they moved on to, um, pure overworld encounters. That's fine. I've seen some GBA mods that actually... Oh, there it is. That have actually added that feature, right? What's it called again? I don't... It, it, I almost called it the Poker Radar, but that's that's the Gen 4 thing. It's like the Dex Nav, I think? Dex Nav, yes, thank you. I said it right before you posted, though. No problem. Hit him with that. Hit him with that. Should I give Houndoom Bright Powder? Or maybe just give him the black glasses so he can spam that Dark Pulse even better. Okay, one more Shake Grass then. There's quite a few, like, hacks I've played. Like, chat, I really like doing, like, the little Wonder Box thing. But, like, I feel like I, I kind of ran out of uh, quality stuff to really use for it. But I haven't really done, done those in a long time. But there's quite a few, like, awesome-looking hacks I want to just kind of do a casual playthrough of. That'll be fun. I mentioned the recharged yellow one. That one looks like it'd be cool and not super long. Because it's basically just yellow version recreated in Emerald's engine. With a lot of cool-looking sprite work. Oh, hang on. I don't need the repel for that. There we go. Oh, got the tell. Well, I could just Dark Pulse it. Guess this must also be 5% or something. Excellent. Oh, right. You're Psychic Dark in this. No problem anyway. Both are neutral hits, and we're taking you out. Okay, let's get those items on. Three of my special attacks good. I should spend my money before I go in there, though. We're at the point where we're going to need a lot of max repels, mostly for, like, getting the Shaking Grass. There's there's a lot of rare Pokemon only locked to Shaking Grass in this game. Like, I've been hearing that in Pinwheel Forest, um... The Shaken Grass can have, um, Charmanders and stuff, right? Well, we saw that the Grass Starters were there, though, but I only saw Grass ones. Okay. There's not a whole lot of Pokemon I need to worry about breeding for, I think. I found things like Mantike while fishing in Driftvale. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need to sort my inventory like that. I have all the Pokemon I need. I just need to swap their items. Okay, so for Houndoom, I say Black Glasses so we can just immediately spam um, Dark Pulse against the lead Pokemon to soften them up. Maybe get the Flinch. As for Ursa, um, I don't know what to give Ursa, honestly. I think I could give Leftovers to my Lotic and Togekiss. Bright Powder for Haxorus, maybe? Hmm... Boopy and Ursa are kind of like sitting ducks here for this battle, I feel. Mm. The Bright Powder is something good to put on, but it's not a guarantee it'll win me the game. It won me the game against freaking, uh, uh... Against N in that one fight in Charge Stone. Yeah, leftovers from my low tick. If you're wondering how I have two leftovers, it's because I caught a uh, Munchlax in the wild holding them. I specifically farmed for it because this this game is brutal. What's this stuff? Do this. Bright powder is better than nothing. Yeah. If only Focus Sash was common and not consumable. Um. I mean, I guess I could go for the raw slash, but I'm gonna be using Ice Punch, right? I don't know, Scopelands? Maybe they'll do something. Honestly, I may as well just let Boopy keep the lucky egg in case it gets a freaking boost or kill. Maybe leave Boopy out on the side then, because I'm not going to rotate. I'm just going to send a Pokemon out and back up into the lead spot. So here's what I'm thinking. We start with Houndoom, spam Dark Pulse. Houndoom goes down, I spam Tri-Attack. 
because both those attacks are going to be neutral against all of his Pokemon. So we can just chip away at him no matter what he rotates to, and then the remaining Pokemon can just finish him off. Hopefully by that point, my low tick can just spam Ice Beam. That's what I did last time, and it worked pretty well. I'm going to make a save. We know where Entei is, though. We gain knowledge. Knowledge is not nothing. We gain knowledge. You see that, Teddy? Knowledge. Out here in the Hollywood Hills with my Teddy Ursa. Because I got that knowledge, chat. Let's go. Not getting off my bike. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Get cozy. I hope you're all doing fantastic still today. I'm having a comfy time for sure. Wait, what? Oh, I go this way, silly. I don't suppose... Yeah, this wouldn't just be a shortcut for me. Why would it? I gotta do the whole thing again. Oh, no. Oh, well. Back to rambling for a little bit. That's fine. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There's that. We've been talking a lot about games I want to play, and now, when I do that, it gets me really excited to play stuff, but then I feel bad because we can't always play everything. There's not enough hours in the week, but still. I don't want to save in front of Drayden because I want to keep the experience for fighting him. Oh, I didn't, I didn't spend my money again, damn it. Oh well. I mean, I might, I probably could also save in if it doesn't matter that much, because I'm probably not going to get too much if it's divided in a triple battle or rotation battle. Maybe I could just, like, save and reset so we don't have to watch me do this seven times if it goes really bad. Let's do that. I really like the Paper Mario idea, though. Like, a pseudo Paper Mario marathon using some mods for the ones I already played sounds cool. Okay... Now I gotta go all the way around to get the head lifted up. Paper Mario 64 is just the coziest game ever, and I love its music. Perfect. Very curious how the hard how hard the hard mode is for sure. Nothing that way. That's like one of the ones I I think like that might be the mod where it puts like um multiple anti-guys everywhere, right? Like, the, the Black Shy guys. Those are, like, a one-off enemy in Chapter 4, but they're, like, some of the strongest in the whole damn game. Oh, wait, no, they can show up in Bowser's Castle if you intentionally fail the quiz. Sick. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I think we're all doing just great. I hope you're cozy today, ADR. Hmm. I almost say Aud uh, Audrey when I read your name, but there's no I in that. Good luck. Yeah, I almost beat him, but um, I lost to bad luck before. I think I just do this now, right? Okay. That took, like, what? Two, three minutes? Unacceptable. Not going to do that again. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Let's make a save. My plan should go okay. The only real difference, though, is that I have two levels higher on my Houndoom. Houndoom has been awesome, by the way. So happy I finally got to use one. I mean, it's buffed and has Intimidate, but still. You didn't put an I after it because the name was taken, actually. Oh, really? Well, learn something new every day. For this strategy to work, I'm essentially removing the rotation from the rotation battle. Okay. I'm holding black glasses. And I'm going to Dark Pulse. If I could make you flinch, that would be awesome. He tried to belly drum. Oh, that's even better. That's why he's running Fire Punch Charizard. Oh. Okay. 
He was trying to belly drum me. I got a free hit, though, so that's good. I can't remember what the chance of Dark Pulse Flinch even is. Uh-oh. Here it comes. No crits. No crits. Very tired, but trying to watch the stream and get comfy. That's all right. Don't worry. Yeah, yesterday was really long because I really, really wanted to finish the Pikmin mod but, so I could play Mother 3 next week. I didn't want to leave, like, anything left of the game. I only had a few treasures left to go. Okay, Salamence up front is a little worrying. I hope it kind of switches around. Good. If I can make you flinch, that'll be great, because you're probably going to Quiver Dance. Damn it. He's going to go for Dragon Pulse now. Hmm. You know, at this point, I could preserve Houndoom's speed, and I could just send in Ursaring to go for the Ice Punch, because that could hit anybody and be good. Yeah, I think I might want to do that. What? All right, then. I hope this takes you out, you little jerk. You get what you deserve. What? No! He had a Yashe Berry. It still killed him. Good. Sheer Force, baby. Sheer Force. Okay, now here comes Kingdra. At this point, I think I can go back to Dark Pulse and... Oopsie. I haven't gotten a single flinch on it yet, though. Ooh, Charizard's dead. Nice. No problem, no problem. Alright, we got levels in the back going on. That's good. Yep, here it comes. Okay, this thing's probably gonna Dragon Dance. I need to hit it hard. I need to hit something hard. Hmm. Alright, you're with the Kingdra. That's fine. This is still going to be neutral, and uh, Oh, it missed! Nice! Imagine a bunch of teddies on the sideline cheering streamer on. Ex Heck yeah, there's teddies watching me. Teddies love me! You see this one in my arms? I give him cookies, and he stays by my side all day. Waterfall. Ooh. Wow, that did nothing. Yes! 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 Teddies win! Big Bears win. He's got two left, and he's not Dragon Dance buffed yet. I need to hit him with the Ice Punch. We gotta go for it. Come on. Come on. Earthquake! Come on, you can live this, Bear. Bear. Critical hit him. Oh, let's go. Dude, I don't even have to send in my low tick yet. I got this one. Now is the moment of truth. This really gets the blood pumping. What? I oh right, you can get hydro pump through an egg move, can't you? That's that's really weird. Oh. Oh. Just ice beam it, please. Ice beam this damn thing, and we'll be done. We'll be done. Just, just ice beam it. Please, just ice beam it. I can't even set up a track, but it's not worth it. One ice beam will kill it. Yes, 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 yes. Teddy's win. Teddy's win. Goodbye. You lose. Look at that. And Boopy had the lucky egg in the back the whole time. That was actually good training for it. Nice. Too bad I couldn't get Draco Meteor. Chat, when will my freaking starter become a good Pokemon? I've... Man, I'm starting to think... I mean... I don't know if any of the other ones would have been good. <laughs> I still like Superior. It's just not having as much of a chance to shine as I thought. Contrary is still great. Wonderful. I'm grateful we had a chance to meet in battle. Bears win!
Chad is just a wall of cheering Teddy Ursa emotes now. Check. My low tick has certainly been worth getting for sure. Well, now you've obtained all the gym badges in Unova. Now all Pokemon will obediently follow your commands. I want you to have this. It's a TM I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. You're fond of it, but you don't use it. It's a move that returns the damaged Pokemon to its Pokeball. In other words, it switches your opponent's Pokemon. Now I have something to ask you. Head for the League and go after Alder. The Pokemon League is past Route 10, which runs from Opelucid City to Victory Road. I know Alder's strength, but I don't know the depths of N's power. Okay. Is he backseating? Oh, he's right. He's telling me what to do. What a jerk. Hello? Was Drayden as tough as ever? I came to report on how to resurrect the legendary Reshiram. I thought it would be better to tell you in person than over Transceiver. And as for the conclusion, well, I haven't figured it out. I'm sure the Pokemon will wake up when it deems someone worthy. <laughs> Great advice, Professor. More importantly, aren't you amazing? You have all eight of Unova's gym badges now, right? You've become so strong. You probably don't even know it, but if you, you've changed a lot since you left Nuvema Town. Well, I'll show you where a strong trainer should head next. Why do you need to do this? I, I know where the hell to go. Um, I have high levels. Maybe I could try experience sharing one Pokemon in the back right now. Pass through that gate, go down Route 10, you'll arrive at the badge check. Once you get through Victory Road, which is past the gates, you're finally at the League. You see. Oh, that just made me think of when I was showing you around the Pokemon Center in Accumula Town. You regret setting out on your journey? Hell no. You see this bear? Why would I regret that? That's the greatest answer you could give. I was really happy to be able to give you, th you three those Pokemon as a present. Because Pokemon create chances to meet more wonderful people in Pokemon, it's a present for you. Oh, nice. I'm not going to use it on the Entei, though. That'd be a waste. I hope Reshiram will still have buffed catching odds, right? This Master Ball is the most powerful kind of Pokeball. It can catch any Pokemon without fail. It's the only way I can support you, except to say, be true to yourself. No matter what happens, stay strong and keep going with your Pokemon. See ya. Being true to myself. I think we could all learn from that. Alright, now let's change things. Let's heal here. Um, probably just put... Oh, hi, Mayui. How you doing? I feel like maybe the Shinx I could just give the experience share. Because we're going to be... We're going to have access to a lot of trainers on Victory Road. So maybe I could just get some dex progress done right now. There is a... There is, um... A Pokemon Center in front of Victory Road, right? I think there is. There damn well better be. Um, I could also train you guys two levels, couldn't I? Yeah, that it shouldn't be too hard. Sal uh, Bagon needs a little bit. My low tick is level 71. Let her chill for a bit. Hang on. I should give the lucky egg back to all my main mons. There we go. Trainers can get tough and picky, so... First... I should do this outside of that. Let's do that. Oh, I beat Drayden, yeah. I slaughtered him. I just... All I really needed to do was just, like, have the right setup. Like, I was close to beating him last time. I basically just lost to RNG. Give everyone the lucky egg. No, no, no. Not the Master Ball, silly. Yes. Boopy's already holding one. Last lucky egg. I didn't even get a crit with um, Ursa Ring, but it would have been good on that Flygon, wouldn't it? Chat, you ever notice, you ever look at the Master Ball sprite and it realize that the top of it looks like a Butterfree face? 
like look you can see butterfree's like eyes and the m is like its little its little bug bug mouth look at that doesn't that like bother you now that i've shown it off venonet face as well but venonet or butterfree Ooh, moo. You can't unsee it now. Look what I've done. <laughs> Look what I've done, chat. Aha, it does. Okay, there's the XP share. I said I wasn't going to do this, but considering Drayden actually went a bit better than expected, I can do it now. Put you at the very back. Um... I say Boopy is the one that needs levels. We gotta get that Draco Meteor. Or... Wait, hang on. Isn't there a move tutor for this here? Did I forget to check them? Or I think someone said that was actually, like, much elsewhere. Like, in the post-game area. But I don't know. Alright. Oh, what's this? Hey, trainer. Do you have a minute? I just heard this on the X-Transceiver. There's a big storm on Route 7, and the storm seems to be different from a natural phenomenon. So strange. Oh, they're gonna tell me that that's gonna activate Thunderous and Tornadus, right? I don't have my flyer on me, so I don't care. I'll do that later. Right. Right. I, I forgot about this. Hey, Asprey! Well, I guess I'll, uh... Drayden and Professor Juniper told me you're heading for the Pokemon League, right? Since it's Alder, since it's a champion, I think it will be all white. Worst case scenario, you'll be battling Team Plasma's boss, N. I need to know if you can handle it. Oh, wait. That was that was Charon talking? I thought that was Bianca talking. Oops. Well, now I'm down to Pokemon, because I completely forgot there was a battle here. No Intimidate on you. <sighs> yeah. At least I'll probably <laughs> be close to Luxray after this. I'll be fine, yeah, but man. Uh, oh, hey, Brave Bird. Do I outspeed you? Damn well better. No, I do not. This is going great! Yeah! Alright then. He's gonna spam Brave Bird. I guess I can just hit it with Thunder Punch or something and kill it now. The little triangle looked like it was pointing to Bianca. I didn't think it was him. Don't tell me that's a crit. Hmm. Whole team getting sweeped by Star Raptor now. That's great. Not prepared for this. Boopy wants Miracoat. No, no, we're not playing Miracoat games with the AI. Jinx gets a crap ton. Thunder Wave. No, no, no. Gonna mash the button over and over. Here comes Gigalith. I could probably outspeed that. That's the only thing Ursa Ring probably could outspeed. Let's find out. You've got Sturdy anyway, so let's do this. Okay, he's finishing me off. Alright. Boopy can finish this with Leaf Blade now. I have three Pokemon left, chat. I am going to get bodied because for some reason I forgot there's a rival battle after every damn fight. And I got hit by the Brave Bird that my lead Pokemon was not ready for. Shinx is pretty much good to go. <laughs> I 
Gyarados. Well, my Thunder user is down for that. It's probably going to have an Ice move. I have to use Haxorus for this, but I'm going to get Intimidated, which sucks. My best bet might be to try and set up Dragon Dance. Okay, he didn't Intimidate. What's... Does that mean he's Moxie Gyarados? Oh, he's Dragon Dancing. I know I outspeed him, though. I know I outspeed him. I'm gonna go for it. I need to take him down now before he hits me. Okay. Good, good, good. Shinx is going. Hmm... Alakazam, send it out. Okay. We got rid of him. Okay, I got confused after two. Find out if it's worth switching. 29. Thunderfang. No, no, no. Silly little baby boop in the background. Simi Sage. Well, I can just switch to Houndoom for that one. This is going good. Hydrate. My drink's just about empty, but I can do it. Let's go Flamethrower for a little bit. Get burned all crispy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Stop leveling. You're stealing all the XP here. Okay. Embor is ground fire in this game. I have Earthquake anyway, so... What am I doing? Go back to Haxorus and just do that. May as well get that freaking Luxray and then just go dump the thing in the PC. Wait, do I already have Luxio? I don't actually know. I... I... I can't remember if I caught a Luxio somewhere. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, uh, does anyone remember? Did he's. Oh yeah, Citrus Berry. He's bulking up. I don't think I did, did I? Uh oh. Well, we might have to just correct that when I get the National Dex and I see my total real number. Nice, I did it. Let me check my PC, because I know I don't have Luxray, right? Let me let me just look at the PC. Let's assume I don't and increase the number. If I do have a Luxio somewhere in the PC, I'll just uh undo it. Let me go to 302. There we go. Now I'm randomly just wondering if I caught a random Luxio early in the game. Hello, friend. Welcome to the stream. Keep old moves. I, what did I just say? Keep old moves. You're not getting used. Yep, you're something else, and I mean that sincerely. Right now, I have to make your Pokemon healthy. Oh, thank you. Right now, there's no way I can compete with you. If there's anything... I can do to help in the battle with N. Just say so. Ask me. There's not much I can do to help you, but I want you to have these. Yay, Max Revive. Still, it's kind of funny. So everyone's so different. Funny. At a time like this? Come on, Sherwin. Could you smile just for once? Taking everything so seriously all the time isn't going to change anything. You know, since we met our Pokemon and walked the same worlds together, but what has happened? We've all changed a lot. We found out the things we want to do, and the things we can do are different for each of us, right? That's what made our journey so worth it. Somehow it all just makes me happy. So that's what you mean. You are right that we're all different and we should do the things that we can do. There are many truths and ideals 
as there are people in Pokemon. Most important thing is that we help one another out. That's why people in Pokemon are always by each other's side. That's what I've come to think. Hey, Asprey, if anything happens to you or Alder, I'll do everything I can to help you. That's why I gotta keep training and getting stronger. Just don't be reckless, okay? There they go. He's gone. Stop talking to me already. Asprey, me too. I'll do all my best to help if I can. So, um, I wish you could say something like totally inspiring, you know? Um, okay, best foot forward. Yeah, okay, go away. I want to go see if I have a Luxio, damn it. That's all I care about. Everybody learns what they want to do in life. That's what Black and White 2 shows. Sharon wants to become a gym leader, and Bianca wants to become a professor. They both, ha both don't have to go off becoming champions or stuff like that. Let's go. The message of Pokemon Black and White is that everybody is different, and that's okay. But I feel like that goes over a lot of people's heads. Let me see. I don't see a Luxio anywhere. It would be in the early boxes around here, yeah. Nope, I don't see it. I guess I just don't have one, so I'm assuming I'll count it properly, then. You tell me the game has an obvious message? Yeah. What's often funny about things like that, though, is games can have, like, the most wholesome, friendship-focused message, and then you go online, and the fan base is, like, the most unwholesome people ever. I mean, every fan base is bad. That's just pretty obvious. Chat, listen. Never let anyone tell you that there are good fandoms. Because the more popular something is, the more humans it has. And the more humans anything has, the worse it is. I can I can vouch for this because I am in fact human. Don't let the anime avatar fool you. I still am in fact human. The more humans equals more horrible stuff. Let me see. I guess I'll just finish you off. I want to get Luxio one more level here. Does that mean I'm terrible? I'm a streamer. That's a given. Of course I am. Excellent. Remember when people were like, wow, Animal Crossing is the most wholesome fandom in the world? And then when the new game came out, you had people, like, hacking each other's games for that stupid cat wearing the suit? You had people, like, using, like, uh, like, literal hacks to sabotage other people's islands. <laughs> but Animal Crossing is wholesome. No, it, it got popular for a little bit, and it had more people. More people, more problems. You thought I was a bear? I'm afraid I have to ruin the illusion for you. I'm an anime holding a bear. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it to 303 then. 303, chat. 303. Bum, bum, ba, dun, 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 dun. Yay. Wait, I'm not a bear being held by an anime? No, 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 no. I'm not the teddy. Okay, Wild World was worse. I heard about that. You could visit people's towns online, and people would just use, like, a, an uh, action replay to put, like, a rock down in front of your house, and it would force you to have to reset your whole playthrough because your character couldn't leave their house at the start of the day anymore. That was awful. Do I want to be a teddy? No, I'm happy being anime and human. Let's go here. Wild World was like early internet stuff where you would just have to share your friend code online. Then you just found out you shared it with the wrong person. Good golly. Well, now that we've done that, I guess we can get a different Pokemon out. Wait. Wait. Wait, Luxray has guts in this game? Huh. No item left on it anymore. I took the XP share away. What we're gonna do next, I think we should just go ahead and get, like, um... Just get, like, uh, Shellgon and Salamence. That would be good. They'd spawn things like the museum everywhere, and it would actually brick the cartridge. Wait, really? People could do that? 
they could mess with your game so badly that it would actually just, like, make it impossible to turn on anymore. Wow. Damn. I never heard about that. I thought it always had guts. Did it? I don't remember. Well, that's cool if it does. Dang. That's really bad. It's because Animal Crossing has the town preview feature. Right, so you're telling me that the game couldn't even handle loading the title screen because your town got, would get so messed up that way? Ooh, yeah, that's that's pretty rough. Do they have, like, a failsafe for that in the future games now? They have to know about that, I assume. Guts is Lux Ray's hidden ability. It normally has Intimidate and Rivalry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I guess it's just hidden. Ugh. Freaking cartridges, man. That's evil. Why would you do that? Imagine you just want to play some Animal Crossing and some, like, some some random ass on the internet that, wa that like, you just wanted to give oranges for their town decided to just, like, freaking, like, uh... He'll just kill your whole game. That sucks. Halt! Unqualified one shall not pass. The key to open this closed gate is the trio badge. I got that. Oh, boy. Oh, holder of the trio badge. Challenge all that you face. Okay. Hang on. You can't use the water here, right? No, you can't. Okay. Just making sure. The key to open this gate is the basic badge. The holder of the basic badge show you the knowledge you've obtained. Oh, there's grass here. Well then. I already got Scyther. I caught that in the forest. Hmm. This shouldn't kill Pinsir will kill you. Link's Awakening DX can be bricked by a save file with an invalid health meter. It won't load the file select menu anymore. The mono version can at least load with a glitch glitched menu. Yeah. I know that, like, there's some Pokemon glitches in Gen 1 that could brick the cartridge, can't there be? I don't remember. Oh man, that sucks. Doing that stuff is so freaking evil. Got a little bit there. Hmm. I'm gonna Leaf Blade you again. We're gonna send in Togekiss. There's glitches in Gen 1 that can brick the console. Oh, really? Damn. Didn't know that. Super power. That stuff is wild and mean, and I hate it. Why people gotta be so rude? Hang on, do I have any netballs left? I do not. Where's my ultras? Am I losing my mind? Oh, there they are. Old glitches are nothing to scoff at. They can ruin everyone's day. Okay, 304. 304, let's do that. Thing is blocking the way right there. Perfect. Pincer's data added to the decks. It grips prey with its pincers until the prey is torn in half. Oh, it Mortal Kombat fatalities them. What it can't tear, it tosses far. Oh... Oh, boy. Those are among the only glitches that got fixed in the virtual console. Uh, of, of Gen 1? Do I have both of them? Yes, I do. Um. Hmm. Let me put Togekiss in the second slot. That's what I should do. Do that there. 
because the virtual console doesn't have the power to do that to the 3DS. Like, did they actually alter anything about the game to stop that from happening? No, like, or does it just not have an effect if you make such a thing happen? <clears throat> Pardon me. Don't think so. Okay. Oh, shaking grass. Oh, too late. Just incidental. All right. Stuff like that is so silly, man. So silly. Imagine if there's a 1% legendary in the shaken grass here. Oh god, there is, isn't there? What if it's it's shaman? This is a 100% where they could put shaman. Uh-oh. Chat, can you hear me? It just said it disconnected from chat for a second. I want to see what else is here. Where? Let me see what's in this. Oh, it's Chansey! I've already caught that, though, but, uh... I will beat it up for quick XP. Hmm? Okay, you can hear me. This is like... I think this counts as Route 10. I don't know if this technically counts as Victory Road. I think it's Route 10. Or is Route 10 the previous area? No, it is part of Victory Road. I guess it would be Victory Road Gate, then. Wait, what? Oh, right, Bagon got some. I forgot about that. <laughs> I want to see what else I can find here. Oh, that. Uh. Okay! <laughs> Dude, what is my luck today? Um. Quick ball, let's go! Hi, Latios. Is this where Latios is also here? Oh, we didn't get it. Let's go in charm. It's level 60. Oh, you just boosted my attack. If that's the case, let me try how much this does. Okay. You're making me too powerful to attack you. I hope you're happy. Um, I need to send in Togekiss and yawn it now. I hear I was thinking Shaman would show up, and then I got a different one. Oh, you have Recover! Hmm. That's the case. Hit it with yawn. Um, Latios and Latios are bugged and don't show up in the hacks for X and Y. Is that, like, something that's been fixed or something that's avoidable? It shouldn't die from a try attack, I hope. Oh, wait, what if I burn it before the sleep goes through? I shouldn't have done that. Well. YOLO. If I get another damn crit. Get it to yellow, at least. Come on. I need to heal Togekiss, though. I can't have Togekiss go down when it's the only one that can put it to sleep. Not wrong one, silly. Do it. It's sleeping. I don't have false swipe right now. I wasn't expecting to run into multiple legendaries today. All I can really do is yeet the Ultra Ball at it. Maybe it's because you were playing an older version, but they're not showing up for you. Come on. It woke up. Psycho shift. If I hit it with Psychic, maybe I could get it down to uh, red. I 
Actually, the badge gates are considered their own areas in Black and White 1, but they have no signpost for it. Okay. That reminds me of a funny little oversight that... Man, if I ever make a video about small details in Gen 1, this gotta be included, right? So did you guys know that, um... Oh, damn it, you're recovering again. Hang on. Okay, let's do this. I lowered its special defense, that's something. Um, what was I saying? So did you guys know that the town map in Gen 1 actually does have Cerulean Cave marked as a location, but you actually can't put the cursor on it. The reason for that is because, like, they didn't want to, like, spoil the location. If you use the town map inside of Cerulean Cave, um, that's the only way for the cursor to be there because it will default to the location, and that's the only way to see in Gen 1 that that place is called Cerulean Cave. Everything else, all the random game guides at the time, just call it, like, so many different names, but that that is the only way you can see the name Cerulean Cave to know it's official. It's a neat little detail. But who would bring the town map inside of, um... Inside a Cerulean Cave, though, because you have... It can only hold 20 items at once. Hmm. It was usually called Unknown Dungeon outside of the game, yeah. A lot of guides would call it that. I haven't gotten a single shake. Yes. 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 Yes! 305. Look at that chat, we got another legendary today. Look at me go! Its body is covered with a down that can refract light in such a way that it becomes invisible. Do you see that, Teddy? We caught a legendary dragon. What else? Can I find Latios right quick? How about a shiny Latios? That'd be pretty cool. Darn. There's always a chance I could get it right when I say that. Hmm. Gen 1 had no individual item pockets. You can only hold 20 of anything, and you had to deposit your key items in the PC when you were done with them. Gen 2 revolutionized the, um... It revolutionized the bag system, for sure. I I'm just still looking here. I want to see what else I can find. I mean, I know Latios is here. It's gotta be. Maybe I will call it that if I find a shiny one. I always like shiny Latios because it's, it's literally gold. Like, gold and Latios just always look cool to me. I always wanted one, but it's kind of hard to hunt for that when you're a kid. Chat, what's your favorite shiny legendary? Gen 3 has a lot of good ones, actually. Oh, giraffe! Oh, I already have you. Never mind. I don't care. I know it's Latios for you. You love the green Latios for sure. Um, Gen 3 has some good ones. There's Golden Groudon, there's Magenta Kyogre, and then there's Black Rayquaza. What's this one? Chansey again? Okay. I know I'm killing the tension by not going through the gate, but there's cool stuff here, and it's paid off for me. Gonna, do you have a legit shiny Latios in the bank? Sick. Let me see. Okay. Hmm. Keep looking. There's Cherum. After, like, Gen 5, though, or I guess starting with Gen 5, Shiny Legendaries just started getting locked, so you couldn't really get them outside of a dumb one-time event. It's really to use my bike. Or not, I'd kill the music if I do that. Alright, maybe we can move on now. I mean, I caught freaking Latios. That's a huge milestone. I feel like that should be worth more than one, but that's not how the numbers work. That's two legendaries caught so far, Cresselia and uh, Latios. At least we got information. We know, 
or some of them are insect badge anything else here nah you to open this badge is the bolt badge is this one of the few areas where the bike doesn't override stuff unfurl a shocking battle we find out I can't use it here Gates are placed at the border of one space and another space. In other words, gates mean that the world beyond is a different world. It does feel like every time you pass through a gate, you're going to a different world. You remember the gym leader who gave you the badge at the time. Without the quake badge, you cannot proceed. Here we go. Holder of the quake badge. Make your foe's hearts tremble. Can't use the bikes in the gates. Oh, okay. The jet badge. Oh, boy. Holder of the jet badge, here you go. Oh, yeah, this is the one where you can just magically float. The freeze badge. I wonder if there's, um, a lot of, like, more 1% legendaries in Victory Road just throughout the whole thing, maybe? That'd be funny. The legend badge is needed here. Oh, holder of the legend badge, pass through Victory Road, which lies beyond, and head for the Pokemon League. Prove that you too can be a legend. Yes, I can. Chat, do you think I could be a legend? Me and my teddy? Oh, there's no Pokemon Center here, damn it. I'm gonna have to leave. Let's poke our head in and just see what's here. Oh, let's fish here first. I feel like Victory Road, like, doing uh, the, doing the entirety of it, like, trainers and all, is going to take a whole stream by itself. Okay, we got Whiskash. I got Barboach I need to level up. Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't try a Quick Ball. Okay, it's going for that, huh? Of course it is. I'm gonna have to start carrying a flyer here if I'm gonna do this. That's okay. So now that we beat Drayden today, that's the huge milestone for story progress I'm happy with. Um, I want to just get some Pokemon added to the decks. And next time we can just kind of push through Victory Road. It should actually be safe to carry some uh, experience Sharemon for the current episode then. Let's do it. Next progress is so cozy. I should buy more Ultra Balls. I really burned through a lot. Two. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna get Toga Kiss out. They're gonna be like this. I almost ran from it by mistake. Still, did not expect to find the frickin' Latios there, of all things. I was thinking maybe because it was a little garden out of nowhere that Shaman could just be a 1% or something. Next progress is very cozy. Yeah, I was I was expecting to, to not have this much uh, progress on the meter there, to be honest. I thought maybe it would take like 20 episodes to get to the halfway point, but some episodes I could just churn out like freaking 50 caught Pokemon. Damn, okay. A okay, 306. It wouldn't hurt to check the for Latios there, to be honest. 306, 306, 306. There we go. It is extremely protective of its territory. If any foe approaches, it attacks using vicious tremors. Drayden taking up all the progress today. Um. So yeah, hang on. I want to go back right now. The 1% legendaries will take... Man, I'll be lucky to get one per stream in some situations like that. We gotta go back first, I'm afraid. Oopsie. Let's do it. Master Ball for the Whiskash. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull an anime like that. I feel like the bike 
can't be used because of the uh, the wind tunnel room, maybe. Hang on, I probably could repel trick, couldn't I? I just need a Pokemon that I could use Bagon to lure it out, but no. What's the main level of the Pokemon here? I need a specific level for that to work, right? Hang on, I'm just trying to go back right now. Puppy. 56. Uh, Latios was level 60, so I need like a level 59 Pokemon-ish or something. They're always like two levels higher than stuff in this game, are they? Yeah, I could buy some repels and we could try it, but who knows. Let's go first. Go first! Hello, giraffe. Um, no, you know what, actually? I just realized something. I don't really need to go sort the PC. I still have the Bagon with me to train. I don't need to get Latios right now. I have enough Ultra Balls, so I could just keep going in Victory Road a tiny bit until I get the Salamence and then just retreat. Wills a shiny Latios into existence. Yes. The Whiskash would be easy kills for Boopy as well. You know what? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I got Latios. I shouldn't get too greedy. Hmm. And we found where Entei is. I absurd luck, though. I don't know what Pokemon I should use the Master Ball on, to be honest. Maybe one of the Roamers? Eh. I still need to activate that Storm. Someone, like... Make, like, leave me a note or something to go activate that next time I'm in that area. I'm going to fish again. You know, I probably should bring my flyer and surfer so I can leave more easily. That's the big one. You can fly from the outside, I assume. There's you. I don't have you yet. My attack's not that high, but I'll Dragon Pulse him. Okay, that's not good. He's flailing. Well, Raikou and Entei aren't roamers. They're just a static encounter for the routes. What am I doing? I keep forgetting the Quick Ball turn one. I don't think the Quick Ball is going to catch those legendaries now. I need to get some timer balls for those guys. Those are the best ones. Okay, we got another one-off Mon done. Let's go ahead and add it. 307, everybody. 307. Yes. Oh. Red and blue basculin get along so poorly, they'll start fighting instantly. These ones are very hostile. What about the other one? How do they feel about that? Up, up, up. Fish. You do. Come on. Okay, it's just that again. Probably could just kill it with Leaf Blade, though. Only really need one level for the... Actually, you know what I realized? When Bagon fully evolves, I can just teach it, um... I can just teach it fly. Alright, here's Shellgon. Do that. Give up a learning crunch. Hang on, how did Landorus work in Vanilla Gen 5? I think, like, Black and White had one exclusive roamer, and you had to have both on the same game in order to, um, get Landorus to appear, I think. I don't think I ever bothered to do that. 308, there we go. Yay. Ooh. Okay, shell gone acquired. What else can I fish up here? Come on. So I'm guessing that because this is a, a mod, both... Oh, hey, Gyarados. Both, um... I don't have Gyarados. 
Huh, I never evolved Magikarp yet then. Okay. Um, I'm guessing both Tornadus and Thunderous will just both wander at the same time then, right? That would make the most sense. Or is this game unable to handle one roamer at a time? Because it's not initially programmed for it. Damn it. Oh, here we go. Fantastic. Buddy's gonna break the hell out of me. Fine then. I'm just gonna catch this Gyarados. Because I can. Oh, it's got Moxie. Of course it does. Uh, you know what? Now it's confused. I'm just gonna leave this one. I can uh, I can level up a freaking Magikarp to 20 whenever the hell I want. I got Max Revive, but I don't need to worry about that right now. Use my regular Revive. Hello, friends. Welcome. Hmm. Let me use a Hyper Potion. Heal up my friend, little boopy. Excellent. Let's actually find something in this room, though, why don't we? Oh. There's you. Oh, hey. You'll be pretty easy to evolve at this rate. Did I catch the first one? I don't know if I did. Not going too overboard today, chat. Only this game today. Luckily, I got a few things recorded last night. So you'll have plenty of content. Excellent. And I caught it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and just update the 309. 309, 309, where are you? There you go. After it has eaten up all the food in its territory, it moves to another area. Its two heads do not get along. Sounds like they need to get over it. Excellent. Well, I keep getting the super encounter music. There's Dawn Fan. Should be a free kill with Leaf Blade. This is a new area, so there's going to be a ton of Pokemon to catch along this whole playthrough area. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, I usually take Fridays off, and I'm going to stick with that tomorrow. I'm just going to, like, take it easy, fit, sort out some things, hang out with a friend later in the day. Oh. Um, Saturday I was going to just play Spirit Tracks. Excellent. Perfect. I don't know what I want to do for Sunday yet. Usually Sunday's the spooky day, but I don't have anything fully on hand yet. Every encounter in Victory Road normally plays the Shaking Grass music. Oh, does it? That sounds vaguely familiar, but I don't remember. Well, you're probably right. I'm telling you, when I got the PNG tuber, it's it's very tempting for every stream to just become uh, a long stream, but I'm going to burn out if I do that. That wouldn't be very smart of me. Every encounter strong here. At least give me a level. Yeah, there we go. Choose across the board. Gelgon gets a little bit there. Let me heal it again. Perfect. VTuber is cute, but breaks are important. Yes, they are. Oh, come on. Ariyama. Don't have this one. Hmm. I shall figure out my plan. There, there was a lot of things I suggested for next week. Maybe I could sp skip doing something spooky because I don't have something immediately planned. Okay, let's go to 310, because I don't have this. Perfect. Look at that. It loves to match power with big-bodied Pokemon. It can knock a truck flying with its arm thrust. Heck yeah. Although Sunday is a prime candidate for a longer stream day, because I take Mondays off, and my brother doesn't stream that day either. Let's see. Uh, maybe I could find a short game... 
a short spooky game and then do something after that I wanted to wanted to plan for. Like maybe one of those Mario Party tournaments would be cool. Or maybe I could start with Mario Party so that we can actually play a spooky game at nighttime. I'll I'll figure it out, but I just don't want to do what I did that other weekend where I had two streams back to back that were like eight to ten hours. I can't even move now. Oh. Well, this'll save me a small grind. I could use the Pokemon's levels here to actually get Latios. Definitely want to go for a Repel Trick sometime. I could play Horrorland in Mario Party 2, but I kind of want to play Mario Party 1 first for that. Nice! The Quick Balls are working overtime. Let's go to 311. I don't know. I'm glad when I make a bunch of plans, but I always feel bad when I can't do them all right away. Perfect. While seeking iron for food, it digs tunnels by breaking through bedrock with its steel horns. Yay. I'm, I'm, I'm questioning if I'm even going to have time to start that other Pokemon mod. Because I, I want to have time to finish Spirit Tracks and then also just jump into Mother 3 like I promised. I don't have many Cham. I think I have many Tight though. I'm finding a lot of evolutions I didn't bother to get yet, so this is helpful. Here we go. I'm glad so many people have been looking forward to stuff though. Yes! Okay. Perfect. 312, 312, 312. Here we go. Excellent. By the way, chat, it occurs to me, I didn't get a chance to show it off yet, but hang on. It gains the ability to see the aura of opponents by honing its mind through starvation. Oh, yeah, okay. Is that why it's so skinny? Damn. Hmm. I can't use hotkeys for my PNG tuber because it messes with the, uh, the DS game. Uh, my, my, my normal Nintendo DS, of course, but I don't, it occurs to me I haven't shown off yet that I have Angry alts. Hang on. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. When I want to, I can get cranky. I can get angy. Ignore that stuff that's floating above my head. That's just the interface. I've been having fun with this disgusted anime look. Look at it. All of my states have an alt for this, and it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, hey, Azumarill. It disgusts me. Hang on, I should turn it off now. Because I have to manually do things a bit weird here. Let's go back to normal happy me with the teddy. There we go. Oh, hang on, let's quick ball it. I think I caught Meryl, did I? Hydrate and posture check, don't mind if I do. Hmm. Yeah, I think what I should do is just enjoy my timed, or my planned time off tomorrow with a buddy. And then just see how I feel once I start Saturday. It can spend all day in water since it can inhale and store a large volume of air. Hmm. Let's do it. Give a nickname to Caught Azumarill. No. I did just update the counter, right? Did I lose my mind and not do that? Uh, I did, right? chat. I can't remember five seconds ago. What happened? I did not update it. Teddy! Alright, I'll update it then. Let me go 313. Excellent. Run. Bear spotted. Let me actually go upstairs now. I'm trying to go upstairs and I keep forgetting. Dawn fan again. Medicham was 312. Okay, thank you. We're so close to that halfway point. Oh, right. Perfect. Lots of great streams lately. Don't push yourself too much. I know. I'm so tempted, though. I want to do stuff. Stuff is fun. Perfect. Especially when I lose, like, even, like, an hour from feeling not, not like, too well. I feel like I gotta make up for it, but I shouldn't. Check upstairs, maybe beat a trainer or two. Oh, come on. 
There's teddies here. And you've got your little teddy, you know that you're ready. Yeah, let's fight you. Before going to the Pokemon League, let me test my skills. We're not going on a bear hunt. We already have bears. I have the best teddy. Boop, boop, boop. Here comes Slow King. Let's look at it a different way, chat. Oh, you got Drizzle. Okay. Everything will be fun. Let's just enjoy the fact that every stream is going to be super damn fun. What kind of stream you can pull up some hot cocoa. Do that. I'd say snacks, but I am trying to stay far away from, like, any kind of snacking now. I'm trying to get, like, more intense at the gym and just, like, not, like, uh, undo that progress by eating a bunch of crap. I had some Easter chocolate lately, and I re instantly regretted it. It's just too sweet. Um, I'll stay in. You ever have one of those cream eggs where it's a chocolate egg and in the center is basically just, like, the, the most sugary frosting you've ever tasted in your life? My goodness. It scares me to think about what the American version would taste like, because everything has to have less less sugar in the in Canada compared to the American version of snacks. Let me see. Okay, getting iced! I'm dead. There's Oreo cream eggs. Oh, that sounds disgustingly amazing, but I, I'm not going to have it, no. I haven't had even had fast food in, like, a couple a couple years now. Let's see. Well, this is good. I will have, like, some chocolates every now and then if, like, my mom bakes them or something. My mom bakes amazing brownies. They're so good. Can't say no to that. 70. That's different, though. Okay. I even, like, the other... Last time I was at the grocery store, one of the things I bought for snacks was, like, clementines. Like, little oranges. And I had those. And they were very good. I have to say, though, sometimes, like, it is very tempting when you're just sitting playing video games. You just wish you could have, like, a pack of frickin' bakery cookies with you. You're floating. Hmm, there's three Pokemon left on your team, so I shouldn't outrage. Yeah, that's another good rule to follow. If you want to have cookies, bake your own. So at least you're doing stuff. I've baked cookies a few times. It's been a while since I got to do it, though. Almost. I'm getting electrocuted. How many times is Thunder gonna paralyze me today? How many? The answer is too damn much. Well, clearly we're gonna need more regular levels if we're gonna make it through this damn place. Yeah, 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 intimidate. Finish it off. Kill it. Perfect. Houndoom gets a bit. Shellgun gets a bit more. Ludicolo. Um. It's Ludicolo. There's no way he can kill Togekiss, I'd hope. So I'll send Togekiss back in. Togekiss is great, but sometimes it just gets, like, bodied by stuff. Now you feel like baking? Darn it, streamer. That's right. If the anime in the corner says to bake cookies, you will go bake cookies. That's the rule. It tried to hydro pump me. Oh, that'll hurt with its with rain out, yeah. That's why Thunder hit, by the way. Because of the drizzle at the start of the fight. Oh, fantastic. Wait, no. Ludicolo has Swift Swim. I can't outspeed it with Houndoom. It would have healed if it had Rain Dish. So I guess we're just gonna have to go with this. 
Okay, nice, it missed. Okay, Ludicolo down. Still going on. Are you trying to bomb me here? Is that why it has rain? To stop the power of fire? Probably. You know what? I'm going for it anyway. This is the first trainer here, and they are slaughtering me. That's right, chat. Sometimes you just gotta take it easy and not tr and not like be so hard on yourself. It's easy to like freak out and worry about all the things that are upcoming. You gotta do, but just play, just just relax, have some cocoa, and not worry about every single thing. Oh, there's dirty, and there's burn, earthquake. Good, good. Okay, that's good. I say that myself, but then I'm talking about how I don't have time to play video games for you guys. <laughs> At least I got plenty to upload right now. Let's do it. There's that thing again. All I got is Houndoom, damn it. I should head back to the Pokemon Center is what I should do. Probably just use Houndoom on the... God damn it. Here's Medicham. That's right, chat. Be nice to your health. Show that you care and hug a little bear. If you hug a little teddy bear, you'll all, you'll immediately feel better. I hope. Results may vary. Let's go. All right, let's pass by the grass again. Maybe we'll find Latios and not be able to catch him. Come on. Just gonna float on by. Cause I don't have fly, cause I can't evolve my Salamence. Any shinies? Nope, no shinies. I've not run into any darn shinies in this playthrough yet. No Pokemon there. Yeah, next time I go forward, I'm always gonna have something that can fly. Salamence is right around the corner, so I can do that, though. Bicycle time. Every trainer on this route's been beaten. Gosh golly. And I make it to 325 today. 325 would be more than half done. A redeem to make everyone else hug a teddy or a plushie. They should. Every day is wholesome day when you watch this stream. Or should be. Okay, let's do it. Oh, holding back a heck up there. All right, no problem. I still have no idea what I'm going to do for Sunday, but let's just worry about Saturday stream. Spirit Tracks definitely has more than one stream worth of game left, so maybe I should do some side quests on the for each episode remaining. That could be nice. So am I really going to go all the way back in after healing like that? Of course I am. <laughs> this is the best place to find new stuff, clearly. Ugh. We can fly out with Salamence. We don't have to do this anymore. But we may as well look around the, the grass again. Good, right? Maybe we'll find Latios. Or Cherum. Level 57. I only fought one trainer in Victory Road, and she had a full Rain Dance team. I get the feeling that when I'm actually making pushing for progress, I'm going to need to have my full entire team with me. Like, absolutely for sure. Next time, we're going to try and make a big push for that, I'd say. Hell gone, got a little bit of that. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. All right. 
on the bright side, even if I don't get to something spooky this weekend, um, I did finally get one of the, the last spooky game uploaded. I played At Home Alone, uh, the final version. That spooky little RPG maker thing. That was nice. But it had some copyright issues with, like, one, one or two parts. So I had to just, like, edit around that. And it finally got up today. So there's that, at least. A part of me does want to kind of marathon some of the iconic RPG Maker stuff with the PNG. Go back to, like, Eve, Witch's House, and Mad Father and all that. That could be kind of cozy. Because some of those, it's been quite a few years. Especially since they all got remake versions as well, which are nice. Excellent. Azumarill fainted. Maybe even get the original Ao Oni going again. I did do a stream of that a few years ago. People like that. Ursa. And now we run. Bears have been discovered. Bears have been hugged. Okay, can I find anything upstairs here? Anything new? I can find gears. I think I caught gear number one, didn't I? Well, let's hit that. Show that we care and walk away from giant bears. Oh, almost just like knocked something over there. All is fine, all is fine. Let's just hit it a few times. I didn't try to quick ball, I didn't think about that. I also didn't spend my money when I left. Oops. Special defense rose sharply. Ooh, thank you. This thing should evolve into the final form with one level then, right? All right, sick. 314. It took a little bit, but we getting that we getting that dex progress in there. 314. Yay. By changing the direction in which it rotates, it communicates its feelings to the others. When angry, it rotates faster. It rotates, chat. It rotates more and more and more. Hello, friend. How you doing? Welcome to the wholesome stream. There's another one. There's definitely different encounter tables for each floor. Catch as much as we can. It is Clang's rotation party, and you're not invited. Rotating bear. That would make a fun emote. The bear, Teddy just rotating in place. Like a 3D turnaround of his head. It's only Clang here. This is the only thing I've seen. Three in a row. Keep going. Ooh. Let's do it. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, hey, Durant. Too bad we already seen tons of these in Charge Stone. I might need to bring a Strength Pokemon with me in the future, too. Listen, you can slide down the cliffs here. Watch me. Now you try. That's a long way down. I can't do it. You can slide down the cliffs here at Victory Road. It takes some nerve the first time, but it's fun. Yeah, what about the outside tiles here? What do they have? Braviary. It wouldn't shock me if there's a bunch of 1% legendaries in Victory Road. Rotates angrily. Unfortunately, I don't have a rotation animation for my tuber. That would require a lot more, a lot of an, a lot of money just for that one thing. It's not worth the bit. Boy, Bieri. Ooh, woo. Perfect. There's a Torkoal. I caught one of those when the when the stream died the other day. Is model reversible? Yeah, I don't have the other side set up yet, though. But I can make it face the other side of the screen, and it will alternate the colors properly. 
It's not just mirror, a mirror, a mirror of the same image. Teddy will also have the correct facing angle as well. No Torkoal. Come on, let's see what's here. It is important, especially for the Wii U layouts. I think for what, for Spirit Tracks, though, Yo-Yo, I kind of want to keep using your one. Because I really appreciate the gift one you made for me. But the commission got done so fast, I feel like I barely got a chance to even use it. <laughs> there we go. Maybe even have games to use just that one for. Boo, boo. But I like my I like my design here. It's so nice. Hmm. Let's go here. I'm only seeing Braviary and Torkoal. There's got to be more. Come on. So many turtles. go. It's okay. I really appreciate it. There's Skarmory, but I already got that. That was in the desert at, like, the start of the game. These are things that I can't even kill with Boofy very well. I took a few steps forward, but I wanted to go in there. Oh! That is worth catching. Hang on. Throw the quick ball. You see that, Teddy? Teddy is shocked right now. Damn it. It's going for guillotine? Oh, wait, no, I'm higher level. What am I worried about? There should be a legendary on these rocky tiles. Oh, is there? Well then. Should look for that. This must be a really low one, but it's a pain in the ass to evolve Gligar, so I may as well grab this. Come to think of it, if I could get Steelix here, that would be good, because metal it needs to have the metal coat at night in this game, which is such a weird requirement. It'd be so funny if this, like, rocky ground is how I find Groudon. Oh, I didn't... Wait, no! 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 Okay, it doesn't escape. Good. Fly score is 10%. Okay. Yeah, we wait for it to fall asleep. I thought U-Turn would let him leave the battle. Damn it. Uh oh. Okay. Eyes are closed. Let's get the Gly score. Go to sleep. Jeff the Killer style. One, two, three. Boop. 315, everybody. Let's give it up for 315. Let me get it, let me get it, let me get it, let me get it. Boop. If it succeeds in catching a faint breeze properly, it can circle the globe without flapping once. Bro, you can't even learn fly. Stop flattering yourself. Send it to the PC forever. Now I want to see if I can find the legendary. You're not a legendary. Get out of here. It circles the globe by standing still. I took one step, and look what happened. Oh, there's Fracture. We already long since took care of that one, clearly. However, I can actually Dragon Pulse this. He doesn't fly, silly. He glides. Only a little bit there. Okay, this is going better. Now I want to see if I can find the legendary. Oh, heat more! Wait, do I want to have this? I do. I found this, like, way earlier somewhere, but I don't remember where. 
This is normally where Heat More is, right? If there's a legendary on this ground, I want it to be something really stupid and funny. Like Groudon. Let's go. I'm guessing that, um... Let me see. Eat more is there. Um, I'm guessing that, like, the Ocean Resort area, if you surf there, that's probably gonna be a 1% Kyogre chance from the bubbles. That's what I'm thinking right now. It's gotta be Regirock. Oh, it totally gotta be Regirock now that you mention it. Hello, friend. Welcome. Braviary is there. Hmm. We're having a wholesome little stream. Streamer is just trying to catch things. All right, last one. I'm going inside the cave. Damn it. Teat more. A lot of legendaries and rare encounters are set to the shaking grass and bubbles, etc. Latios wasn't in shaking grass, though, right? Hang on. This is a different room. Maybe there's new different fishing here. Relaxation is great. I can leaf blade it. I'm relaxed, but then I keep talking about all my plans for next week, and then I internally panic, like, oh my god, I don't have enough time. Whatever. Whatever we do will be funny. Mm, no, you don't gotta tell me. I'll find whatever's there eventually. Now I'm curious. I want to run into it. I want to run into it. I need to know. Bear. There's no shaking grass or, like, dust cloud out there, right? I don't even have... I'm not even well equipped to find it. But now, now I want to know. I want to find it right now. Come on. Could be a legendary bird or something floating around. It probably could be Moltres, because Moltres is in Victory Road in Gen 1. Heat more. Bum, 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 bum. I guess Moltres goes back in Let's Go, doesn't it? Yeah, Moltres is there in Let's Go. Because there's no Sevi Islands. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, boy. Maybe I should put something that can kill fire types up front. That would be a smart idea that I should have done a, a while ago. Right now, I'm not I'm not looking to, like, make a ton of progress. Don't worry. Earthquake him. You see. We beat Drayden. Right now, I'm just trying to catch things for the decks. Of course you show up after I put Poopy away. <clears throat> but I also need to evolve Shellgun into into Salamence so I can fly out of here when I need to. Let's do it. Can we get a little bit right there, a little bit there. Where? Torkoal. I only have to theoretically do a hundred encounters here to maybe get one of them to be what I'm looking for. That's right, Moltres had a location added in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver, right? Like, um, Heart Gold Soul Silver added, um,. I think they added Zapdos and Articuno to their vanilla locations to a degree, but Moltres was just like, yeah, it's at Mount Silver. <laughs> All right. Get a little boosted there. One more level for Shell gone. Good. Moltres was in Victory Road, it's Mount Silver, and Mount Ember. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, boy. I know that's not how percent works. That's why I said theoretically. Oh, 
boy. Moltres is the most fire Pokemon of all time. Axorus could use some XP anyway. It didn't really get to run wild in the gym. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Let's do this here. Destroy it. Maybe, yeah, maybe they should have did that for Moltres. Maybe they should have put it for HeartGold SoulSilver. It should have been at, at Cinnabar Island. Okay, one more, and you can tell me what it is. Oh, hey, Pupitar. That's something different. It's not a legendary. But okay. Football time. It's Moltres. Mo oh, of course it is. Of course it is. We're talking about Moltres after I started it. And it's actually Moltres that's here. Okay. Moltres is a 1% encounter in Victory Road. Of course it is. If it, let's see if you live this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I killed it. Okay. Probably repel trick it. All right, one more. Eat more. All right, now let's go back inside the cave. Wait a second, the heat more is level 60? Oh no, I can't repel trick it, can I? I mean, I could raise my odds a little bit. Groudon and Kyogre would be pretty sick right now because they had dr they have Drought and Drizzle in Gen 5. I took one step. Come on. I want to leave now, and now they're making me fight things. At least I caught a bunch of stuff here. I can't say I didn't. Couldn't catch the Pupitar. Pupitar must be really rare. Well, there's something across the water. There's Agron again. Let's see what else we can find here. And then fly out with our Salamence. Oh, it's protecting. Pupitar is actually 10%. Of course it is. Sturdy, baby. He's hurting me. Oh, of course he's gonna waste my time. I was supposed to take him out super quickly so I could get that XP chat. Sturdy is a very, very annoying ability. Good when you're actually using the Pokemon, but against wild Pokemon, it's like, why? I guess if you're trying to catch the Pokemon... Well, it's not even a guarantee they'll have the ability to, right? They, most of the Pokemon can just blow themselves up with it, too. Bear! Chat, there are so many bears in this location. I can't go give hugs to all of them, though. Some of them would kill me. Hmm. What about up here? Oh, hey, you. I caught a Wizmer at the start of the game. Could catch you and then just give you one level. Hmm. Excellent. 316, chat. 316. I'm so greedy. I caught a Legendary earlier and I want more. I can't have them. 316. Yay. 
The shock waves from its cries can tip over trucks. It stamps its feet to power up. Ow. Well, no 1% legendary in this room. Good to know. I took one step again. Hello, Loudred. Welcome back. Let me hit it. Loudred gets very tough. Not really. Loudred is needed to move the truck to get Mew. Ooh. I want to go upstairs. Loudred is the only thing in this damn room, apparently. How does infrastructure work in Pokemon? Not very well. Ha. Huh. The Loudred is down. 855. A little bit for Shell Gone. Uh, you know what? We'll fight you. We'll do it. An ace trainer like me has pride, so I won't lose. I've been in and out of wild Pokemon battles for the last little while. Caught, made some good catches and stuff that'll evolve quickly, but... Oh, has he got a sunny team? I don't think you can have drought on that. Yes, he does. Drought Volcarona. That's a thing, huh? I'm gonna go for one of these and hope he doesn't burn me. Praise the sun. All right, I fixed my posture. I had a little drink there. Drink's about empty, though. I'm gonna get the most out of this in Outrage. Does Volcarona ever get Drought, or is this just, like, a mod-only thing here? Haxorus is level 70, everybody. Okay, Salamence acquired. Didn't realize it was that close. Mod-only. Okay. What does it normally have? I don't remember. Fly score? Yeah, keep going. Let's hope I can roll three. It normally has Flame Body? Okay. Damn. Soul Rock? Well, best to switch here anyway. I'd say Boopy could actually do it. And its hidden ability is Swarm. Oh, he has a Sun Team. Haha, <laughs> you get it? Do you get the joke? Because he's got the floating sun rock? Is it so funny? Let's go. And it has flare blitz. Well, took that recoil. Jump pluff. I guess... You know what? I, I guess my Houndoom can cook with this. What's he gonna do? Solar Beam it? Soul Rock and Lunatone are such whatever Pokemon. They're such a whatever duo. It's like, hey, look. They, they exist. Tate and Liza have them. They're, they're there. Anyone want to use one? No? No? Oh, you don't, you don't want to use Soul Rock and Lunatone? The only function they really served in uh, Gen 3 is that they had wild ones could hold sunstones and moonstones, respectively. Yeah. Just fight, find them and hit them with Thief. That's all they're good for. They have, they have extremely mediocre stats, and they have, like, some of the worst typing ever. Like, Rock Psychic, it's like, yeah, there's, like, tons of things that can kill you, and you can't even do anything about it. Oh, but they have Levitate. They, their weakness is covered, clearly. Let's go. Even Thief is super effective to them, yeah. Alright, we cooked that Pluff. I cannot protect my pride, I'm mortified. 
Okay, shell guns evolving. Let's update the counter to 317. Do, 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 do. Nice. Awesome. Oh, you finally got home minored? Welcome. I'm not going to be going too much longer, though, I'm afraid. I'm already past the three hour mark, so. I just wanted to catch a few more things and then maybe call it a day. Does this have. No, this is all the same outside area, so. It can't have different encounters. I should teach Fly to Salamence right quick. Almost halfway there. I've only beaten two trainers. <laughs> Not at all. I, I basically beat Drayden, and I've just been hunting Pokemon the whole time after that. Because I want to make sure my team is topped up to fight a bunch of stuff next time. What am I doing? Forgot what I opened it for. Fly has 100 power? Oh. Didn't realize that. Not that I would have taught it to Tog Togekiss anyway. Wait a second. Aren't you supposed to learn Fly on level? Did it not do that? Oh, it's level 51. I skipped it. Oops. <laughs> I skipped Salamence learning fly. Of course I did. Experience share. Done. Hmm. Any other locations I haven't really checked yet? Icarus City. Driftvale City. Hang on, you know what I should do? I go back to Opelousin and buy more Quick Balls. We had our fun in Victory Road. Yes, we did. It's sundown now. We're so close to halfway. I know, I know. That's what I want to get to. 325. Let me see. Hello, friend. Welcome to stream. Oh, I didn't spend my money. I will never do that today, apparently. Let me buy some quick balls. Maybe I should get some timer balls, too. But first, let's buy 20 of these. Just, eh, just 10 of them for now. And for the rest, I need max repels and more ultras. No, hang on. Let me get the max repels first. Buy 73. Let me just buy 40 for now. Need them for getting the Shaken Grass Mons for sure. Hang on. And the last we'll just spend on Ultras. There we go. Now, what routes have I not checked for Shaken Grass yet? Because that would be a good place to catch some random stuff, wouldn't it? We're not going to level up anything in the back row right now. May as well just fly with Salamence. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. We, we checked over here. Yeah, Route 9. What about Route 8? Did I check for Shaken... No, that doesn't have grass. That's right. Hmm... There's more. We did check a lot of the shaking grass and pinwheel, but it, yeah. I need to surf to get there, though. That's the problem. Ugh. I guess I could just go check pinwheel again. I already did Route 1 stuff an eternity ago. Do, do, do. Hang on, what do I have with me right now? You would be best for being up front to yawn things. Quick ball should work well for the low level mons. Oopsie. Put the shaking grass down there. I don't know what I really did. Hang on, does the time of day have an influence here? Because I there's a lot of stuff I didn't um. I haven't really been here at night, or dawn, or sorry, dusk. 
trying to get grass to appear. Fun. Oh. No! Oh, I went the, down the wrong lane. Dude. I swear. You cannot turn this bike the way you want sometimes, but I need it. Gosh darn it. Try again. We're gonna roll back and forth and just wait. And stop carefully this time. That's an Audino. I don't think we're getting much XP by killing Audino. Let's see how much. Let me, let me find out. It's only level 21. Poor thing's dead. That's still surprisingly more than you'd expect. Audino just has that effect. How does, like, the experience, like, algorithm work? Does, is there actually, like, a program check for Audino? Because it seems like it's Audino specifically that just gives, like, a weird boost that way. Okay, it's you again. I'm hoping to find the other starters. I need Chikorita. I know Charmander's here, but I don't know the rest of them. Because normally experience is calculated by stats. And in Gen 5, it's also by level difference. I don't think there's a 1% legendary here, is there? Oh. Okay, I didn't see it anywhere. Let's just look for a second. Oh. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, there's you. I need the grass monkey. All right, I want to look, just look a tiny bit. Just look a tiny bit here, chat. Hang on, I'm just... Let me just be professional for a second. I'm getting a text, and I just need to respond to it. There we go. There we go. Distraction set aside. I'm learning the power of this grass, chat. Hmm. 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 The fire starters are on the outside. Oh! Okay, then. <laughs> I wish I realized that sooner. I think we went over this before. Yeah, down here. Let me just get to a nice spot where I can, like, use the repel. Wait, do I not? I don't have this! Oh, it's a nighttime Pokemon, that's why. Well, then. Easy peasy, catch for me. I hope you haven't been enjoying your cozy weekly episode of Pokemon Blaze Black, everybody. 318, 318. Excellent, here we go. We did it. It sets a trap by spinning a web with thin but strong silk. It waits motionlessly for prey to arrive. Cool. Yeah, this doesn't count as a route. It counts as like a pinwheel forest map, right? That was fast. Torchic immediately. <laughs> okay. Well then. So the fire starters are on the outside. The grass starters are on the inside. Where are all the water starters then? Could have gotten Charmander at the start. That's okay. Nice. Well, at least we can easily level these things up next time when we're between grinding at Victory Road. Because I think next time I'll, I'll spend the initial chunk of the stream making a big push in Victory Road. And then we can just kind of like passively train the team up a bit. And then maybe I could ha maybe I'll have time to attempt the Elite Four. I feel like I should save the Elite Four as their own big thing because that's going to be a big gauntlet. And then there's going to be the final boss, right? A fire burns inside, so it feels very warm to hug. Aww. It launches fireballs of 1,800 degrees Celsius. Or Fahrenheit. What the hell am I reading? Nope. Any more shaking grass right here? I haven't repelled because I haven't been too close to it. 
Oopsie. There's no encounters in the water here, right? Oh, there it is. Hang on. Trying to position myself better. Ah, uh, Dino again. I guess I just didn't get to the grass here very well. That's fine. We're so close, chat. We're so close. Do 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 do. Hmm. Look around. Look around. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Gimme. There's Tepig. The shaking grass is annoying to get in this area, to be honest. Is it because it's so large that it can spawn off screen? I think that's what someone told me before. So far, it seems like I'm having better luck than the other areas, like with Entei and Raikou. It's bacon time. No, it's not bacon time. Well, time to yawn. He's going flame charge. His speed may have rose, but that don't matter. Hit him with that ultra chat. Get that pig. Piggy's coming home. Come on. The bacon cooks itself on the inside. Do not worry. Now it's a sleepy penguin. I Wait, pig. Why did I call it a penguin? What's wrong with me? They both start with P. Anyone could have made that mistake. Freudian slip. Three, let me see here. 320. It can definitely dodge its foe's attacks by shooting fireballs from its nose. It roasts berries before it eats them. It's It has sneeze fire, chat. Ooh. Always warm and fresh. I didn't mean to walk this way. There's Timber. Don't need you. I caught Spinarak, though. That's nice. Now let's run back and forth. I don't need to repel, because there's a wide open area. Walk up and down. Carefully. Listen for the grass. Thought I saw it for a second. Just hallucinating is what I'm doing. Oh. I'm missing a few fire starters for sure. Damn. Streamer secretly wants penguin bacon. I don't think it would count as bacon if it was from a penguin. Wait, what am I attacking this for? It's giving nothing. Easy. Anybody around? I still need Chikorita. It will take forever. Um, what about Shaking Grass on Route 1? Hang on a second. Doesn't the Shaking Grass not spawn until you reach a certain point in the game? So you have to go all the way back to Route 1 to see what's there? That could be something worth checking. This game would probably tuck away something stupid there, too. Hmm. It only spawns after you get the first badge. Okay. One more grass shake here. We're finding a lot of Pokemon that I can train up to. We're getting a good setup here to really make a big push with the decks again. Let me see. Once we're, like, done with the main game, like, once we beat the champion and all that, we're gonna be able to just, like, do, um, the. Hang on. We're gonna be able to just go around and push for a lot of Pokemon. It's always gonna- it's gonna come down to legendaries at the end, though, for sure. We're gonna have to just be in and out of encounters trying to catch those. Oh, come on. One more grass, come on. One more shake. 
nothing chat nothing no shakes where's the shakes I demand shakes right now no shakes not even a milkshake don't even need to really repel here because the grass is so accessible so I'm saving money come on I see nothing now we're having a bad time <laughs> come on oh there it is thank you That's our Dino here. Yep, you know, we may have to look for a little Charmander friend another time. I want to check Route 1 now, because this place is kind of annoying. Let's do it. Audino is a little nurse thing, I guess. Not really in the Pokemon centers, though. Mine. All right, let's 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 take a look here. If I just walk up and down like this, we'll see Shaking Grass. Oh, see? Okay, what does this game tuck away on Route 1? Azuril? Okay, that saves me the trouble of hatching an egg. It looks terrified that I found it. That is the last thing I would have expected to be here, but okay. Yeah, not having to get out the damn sea incense just to be able to breed it is very good. I'm pretty sure I- and I don't need to evolve it, I can just find Meryl somewhere. Okay, four more Pokemon, chat. Four more Pokemon and we're halfway there. 321, 321. That's what I'm focused on. Its tail bounces like a rubber ball. It flings that tail around to fight opponents larger than itself. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Can Audino even show up on Route 1? Find out. I bought the repels, but these are actually decent locations for not having to use repels. That's nice. Hmm. Teddy is very cozy watching the stream. Let me see here. Look how comfy he is in my arms. Look at that little bear. That's right, stay focused on the teddy. Makes the stream better. Okay, nothing so far. Oh, there we go. All I had to do was talk. Give the game reverse psychology. Okay, Audino can show up at level 11. Okay, how rare is that? Is the third Pokemon that can show up here, apparently? Azuril is the most whatever Gen 3 baby ever, isn't it? It's like, yeah, Azuril. That needed a baby form. No, what Azumarill needed was an ability. 10% chance I'm looking for here, okay. There's Scared Baby again. I wonder how common Azuril is. Azuril is also 10%. Of course it is. Could check Route 2 Shaking Grass as well. Hmm. Let me try one more shake here if I can. Boop, boop, boo. Come on. And showing up now. I wonder if it worked better to leave the town barrier over and over. See that there? I see them there. Hmm. That's just me clipping the grass down there. I don't think there's any unique encounters for Autumn. YOLO. Water starters are Route 3 shaking grass. Okay. 
Well, we found Audino again. That's that. Got away safely. Hang on. I'm gonna go over here now. Check Route 2. Is there a normal-ass Pokemon on Route 2 I can still find? I don't even know. Oh. Well, that was quick. Thank you, game. Damn it! It's just Audino again. My luck is just all Audinos. I wanted to find the rare Pokemon. Instead, I'm finding the common Pokemon more often. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Almost like they're more common or something. Give me something cool. Do I have you? Yes, I do, right? Yeah, I do. Got away safely. I found quite a few cool things in Shaking Grass. Is there anything like Wormpool here that I haven't caught? I know I got Caterpie and Weedle. Do I have you? I do. There was a lot of Pokemon here, but I couldn't catch them all because I could only afford like a handful of Pokeballs. Ah, oh, come on. Go away, Purloin. Go away. <laughs> Run that time here. I just wanted to catch four more Pokemon right quick. All right, if that's the case, we'll just head up over here then. I fished here before. Route three. Gimme. Hi, Mudkip. There's a Pokemon we need. Mudkip friend. Two, three. Okay, that's good. Now let me go ahead, get to 322. Three more, chat. 322, 322. I need it, chat. I'm so close. I'm so close. I need it. To alert it, the fin on its head senses the flow of water. It has the strength to heft boulders. I've seen your attack stat. I doubt that. So, there could be a lot of things that just show up all of a sudden here, right? Come on. This grass will shake for me. It's cool. It's cool, right? Right? Own it. There's a fampy friend. Hmm. With as many Pokemon as I have now, you know what I could do instead of just popping in the grass over and over, chat? Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Let me just go over here. Back over here for a second. And just experience share three of the damn things in the high-level grass. That would be the smart idea. The smart idea I'm not doing. We caught a handful of, of uh, rare Pokemon, though, so that's definitely a big plus, for sure. Perfect. Go in here. What do we got? We got the lads, is what we got. Oh, you're holding charcoal. That's nice. I guess. Okay, let me put some of you lads away. You're also holding charcoal. They all come with their held item for that stuff. That's nice. Yeah, hey, wait, you're not holding Mystic Water. You did, someone didn't get the memo. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Chat, I wanna go make dinner. I'm already going a tiny bit longer than I intended to. I, I You can say that about every single stream I've ever done in my entire life, but it's always... I never learn. I can't be trusted. You think, I, you think I'd know. But you don't understand. If I don't get reach the 50% mark... It will absolutely mean nothing and be of no consequence if I end the stream right now, but I gotta. If I do it, the, the, uh, they win. Who's they? I don't know, but they'll win if I don't do this. And I can't let that happen. Do you want them to win? Do you? No, you don't. Hang on, do I go there or should I go here? 
I'll get an Audino to appear. That should work. Watch it be freaking Raikou or Entei right now. Just one shaking grass. I need to kill one Audino right here. That's all. One Audino chat. It's not showing up. Not showing up. Come on. Please show up. Oh. Oh, it's right at the front. Holy crap. Go down. <laughs> okay. You imagine if it was one of those right now. Let's do this, and let's immediately get three Pokemon added to the decks. Okay, not bad. Damage by recoil. Take it out. Alright, a little bit for you. No, you, I, you need to hit level 16. Stop with this nonsense. Yay. 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 Does Tepic need 18? I hope it doesn't. We can level them up even more next time, but... Let me just... Let me just have my three dex entries. I can't let them win. Alright. Here we go. 323, chat. 323. Bum, bum, ba, dun, 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 dun. Soulless demon. Chat, who has- who- whose eyes are more soulless? Marshtop or mine? My blinking soulless anime eyes. Yes. 324. 324. And then we'll be the next one. Sounded like he was farting. <laughs> Magnitude. No, 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 no. Give up. Give up. And here's Combuskin. At that point, we can just put 325. Easy. I did it, chat. I reached the halfway point. We are half done the decks. 50%. Technically. It has been done. The prophecy has been foretold. Or fulfilled. Three twenty five, everybody. We did it. We did it. Halfway to completion. And okay, it's not that it hasn't been that long of an episode compared to other recordings. I think the last one I did was like four hours. It's fine though. Alright, we're making a save. Good progress today, Drayden. Went surprisingly well. My team was well equipped for it. Um, let me see. I wanted to focus on adding to the decks by beating things in Victory Road, and that went decently well. Um, the trainers there are really tough, though, so I think next time we're gonna just take the whole team and try and make a big run through the whole place and level everyone up. And then, I guess, if when we get to the Elite Four, I'm gonna make an honest attempt to beat all of them and finish the main story of the game. So I think next time, probably won't see a lot of Pokedex progress. But, um... We're at the halfway point. Once we unlock post-game, we can just start going to frickin' town, getting everything. I think that'll work pretty well for us. And we'll have a bunch of high-level mons. We can put False Swipe back on Haxorus. So if you're watching on YouTube right now, this is where we're gonna end this episode. Hope you enjoyed Anime Character Plays Blaze Black, uh, part 12. <laughs> I'm gonna go make some food now, though. Hope you all have a great week. Have a good night, and bye bye